Sure. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> We're good. Second episode back. Oh, I've missed this. Um, before we jump into tonight's episode, we do have some announcements to get through, so bear with us for just a moment. Uh, first and foremost, uh, no sponsor tonight, but Sam, you said you wanted to say something? Yeah, tonight uh, I'm going to perform the most important ad of my career. Uh, I'm going to advertise myself. Oh. Because we have no sponsor, so instead I'm offering my services to the advertising world out there. Oh. Um, <laughs> no. Advertise. do this every day. <laughs> Advertisers, sponsors, products, companies, I'm ready for you. Send me your ideas, uh, send me, I will sell your shit for you. Doesn't matter if it's bad, I'll still sell it, I don't care, I, I, don't, have, I don't have any sort of shame. Um, so just to demonstrate my skills, I'm gonna take a kale chip. Everybody hates kale chips. Mmm, oh. amazing, so good, right? That's the kind of quality you can get in your head. <laughs> in fact, I can even make up shitty, sh shitty songs, ready? Set sail, set sail, set sail with kale. Oh no, it's a whale, we're frail, we should bail. <laughs> What's this? The kale, the whale likes kale, we won't be assailed thanks to kale. See, that took me six seconds to write. And and I can turn out this shit all day for you. <laughs> so, so please, please, when you're thinking of insincerity, think of Sam Regal. Back to you, man. Thank you, Sam. How do you do our stuff? Yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> next up, Marisha, you had some announcements to make. Oh, yes. Um, our next episode of Mighty Vibes will premiere Ooh. tomorrow, Ooh. July 10th at 4 p.m. Pacific on our Twitch channel. As a reminder, uh, all of our VODs are available on YouTube two days after, so you know. Whenever you need to, to chill. And you should check out the other Mighty Vibes if you haven't. They're great. Also, join us next Tuesday, July 14th at 7 p.m. Pacific for a brand new episode of All Work No Play Unplugged. And this time, oh it's a featuring me. I'll be joining <laughs> Sam and Liam. Is that yeah, true? For a it was minute. a good one. It was, it was great. It was when we shot that episode, it was really good. I loved it when we <laughs> uh, talked about that thing. Uh, yeah, so and you can catch that VOD. Um, <laughs> On Thursday, next Thursday. The future is off. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. not, not this okay. Thursday, which is um, <laughs> a place in time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, but the the next the next got Thursday. It, got it. Yeah. Sure. That's some Darpa math. Uh huh. <laughs> it's gonna be the future soon. Alrighty. Oh man. Good job, Marisha. Yeah. Well done. Yay. Well done. Yay. Well done. And good yeah. Jonathan Colton, drop Liam. Uh, Laura and Talson, you guys had something to talk about, right? Well, I'll start it off. Yeah, please. Yeah, so uh, we have been uh, working with <gasps> oh, McFarlane Toys uh, for quite a while now, and I'm very happy to let you know that our, uh, our figure, I don't want to say what it is yet, is available in the US and the UK stores mm. right now. Whoa. Um, and it's, it's never going to get made again, so... Uh, it's there. Um, so I will show you, um, oh, this <laughs> is the box. Can you guess who it is? Uh, um, yeah, so this is our Molly Mock figure. It's, oh, it's freaking hollow -y. phenomenal so box. It's and got then foil. the inside is. Oh, <gasps> where, where's the thing? Oh no! He got away. Oh. Where is the oh. figure? He died. Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. a special. Oh, special oh, yeah. oh yeah. Gorgeous. Oh. That's so oh. cool. Oh, I mean, it's insane. Yeah. Mm. Too sexy. So yeah, Molly has so his bad. signature robe and tarot cards in his hand. You may notice his two scimitars. That's what they're called. Yeah, right? no, you're yeah. you're doing fine. Uh, yeah, are they are they? Yeah, they're removable. Of course, they're yeah. They're actually in 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 proper McFarlane fashion. They are removable, and it does take about 30 minutes to get it out of the packaging, uh, <laughs> which is honestly all I ever want out of a McFarland yeah, toy figure. So I want to sit there with with a with an X-Acto knife and tweezers, going, "God damn it!" So <laughs> very well packaged, and and actually, like the, the box art is so pretty. It's the whole so thing beautiful, is and Talison, that beautiful peacock. Talison oh. gave notes every single step of the way, and just really. Like I'm very, everything very is based on canon and his oh. ideas for what the character looks like, and it's just amazing. So Long <laughs> may he reign. Thank you, doing Farland Toys. Check out this limited edition. Molly I got figure. toys. This is all. What? 
we go. This is all I ever wanted. <laughs> right here. So exciting. Holy crap. <laughs> I, knew I just had to traumatize our audience to get an action figure. I would have done it here. <laughs> Jesus. That's all it took the whole, the whole time. Uh, Thank awesome. you for your pain, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. I think that is the end of our announcements. Oh, no. Uh, much shorter this week than last week. Uh, and as such, I think it's time to go ahead and jump into tonight's Ooh. episode of Critical Role. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> so, last we left off, the Mighty Nine, after uh, helping aid the negotiation between the Korean Dynasty and the Dwindalian Empire, come to a momentary close. You separated yourselves to head around the island of Urukazel and the Inclaw Reef, making your way towards Rumblecusp, where you had planned in the near future to hold TravelerCon. Woo! Along the way, you drew the attention of a dangerous entity in the sea, what turned out to be a dragon turtle, a massive, massive threat. You managed to keep it at bay, fire towards it, only sustain a bit of damage to your hull before miraculously transforming it into a regular sea turtle and then eventually a sea slug, <laughs> leaving it in your wake, literally, um, and heading a bit off course, taking a little more time in your travel, but eventually making your way to the island of Rumblecusp unscathed any further. Upon planting yourself on the outskirts of the island and taking your ships to the shore, you began to, uh, you left the rest of the crew there on the beach to keep an eye while you began to enter the jungle proper. There, within the tangled tree mass, what? What did I miss? No, 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 I'm just thinking, I'm regretting leaving them on the shore. Yeah. We should have told them to hide or some shit. All right. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> um, I forgot about them. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Heading into the jungles, uh, a short time in, you found yourselves being hunted. And as these creatures, these uh, black panther-like beasts you've seen before in the past, began to present themselves ready to pounce and attack, they themselves were assaulted by a small hunting party of two individuals in what appeared to be a semi-humanoid bear state. Upon killing one of these creatures and sending the others scattering, they began to prepare it for uh, bringing back to their village, which you discovered exists in this island, a commune known as Vo. And they were eager to tell you about it. They were excited to meet newcomers to the island and to show you the safest route back to the place that they call home. Uh, these individuals um, named Pono and Jaina carried the corpse of this displacer beast and alongside you, you were brought to this makeshift driftwood patchwork village. Um, some buildings looking much older than others. You could see the large bridge networks that connected different structures, uh, held aloft at different points in the few trees that still remain in this clearing in the center of the Stunts Jungle from Rumblecusp. People who uh, lived here began to come out excitedly and whisper about the new arrivals, 
until eventually you are brought to bear uh, and meet two of the three leaders of this village, one of which is a, uh, a tall, uh, lanky male orc figure uh, with uh, gray skin, bright smile, uh, multiple tools hanging from his belt that clangle as he walks, uh, his hair pulled back into braids into the about the midpoint of his back, and a half-elf woman that you saw being brought down by a cluster of moving vines from atop a structure higher up in the tree. Uh, this uh, half-elf female, tan of skin, kind of sun-bleached, long, wild hair, uh, with a, a leg made of vines, it looks like, uh, steps down onto the ground and approaches before saying, Welcome. So, what brings you here? The moment of silence comes over as everyone is now waiting with bated breath to hear what the newcomers have to say. Well, we were hoping to have a festival here. We heard beautiful things about Rumblecusp and how tropical and fabulous it was, and we thought maybe we should um, just, you know, have a bunch of people worship a god over here that's not your god, but us, our god named the Traveler. The woman named Viridian turns and looks to Lukash, and he kind of gives a quirky grin in her direction, and as she looks back towards you, I am curious about the ramifications of bringing a god to an island that already is home to one, but we can certainly discuss the possibilities. But this is your reason for coming, you say? It is. Unfortunately, we didn't, uh, we weren't aware that there was civilization on this island. I'm afraid none of us were familiar with Rumblecast prior to landing here. That's all right. But good news is the Traveler is super cool and super likable, and everybody that meets him thinks he's really great, so I'm sure Vokodo will like him too. Perhaps. Oh, we, we, we also got chased here by a giant turtle. I don't know if that's relevant, but it's all I've been thinking about for a while now. <laughs> A giant turtle. Yeah, it was a giant turtle. A giant dragon turtle. Oh, that, yeah. To be. It was kind of like a moving island. Mm -hmm. And it followed you here. No, no, no. We, we gave it. We gave it chase. We no, got it's, way away it's, from it. It's just. It's definitely looking for us. But, but we gave it the slip. Yeah. You can see Viridian think for a second, then turn and look off to one section of the village there, and there are a handful of individuals look like they're wearing some fishing-based attire. Uh, which of you speak Elven? Anybody here speak Elven? Cool. So. Oh, cool. oh, good. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> you got one. Do you still have tongues activated? Mm -hmm. right. That's oh. not activated, but I have oh. it. He has it prepared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I speak Elvish. Yeah. So you you hear Viridian shout off to them. Gather the fishers. Go ahead and locate the beach where they arrived, and keep an eye for anything untoward making its way. Viridian turns the attention back. Um, I apologize, we are but two of three here at the moment as the hunters are still returning before the sun vanishes on the horizon. Um, there is not much in the way of decisions we can make without a full quorum, uh, but there is to be a meal tonight. We can prepare a place. If you are to stay, we can give you shelter to sleep and we can get to know each other over a roaring fire here safe in our village. Oh, we would graciously accept your hospitality. <gasps> Are you all right? <laughs> Was that an anime I'm gasp? I'm sorry, it's, I had to sneeze. It's oh. good, it's good. To, it's good, just in case, right? <laughs> I, I'm afraid we've been quite rude, actually. We didn't introduce ourselves. We are the Mighty Nine. Uh, we are a group of adventurers. You said um, safe, uh, is it? Become much more dangerous when the sun goes down. <laughs> no, it's sometimes as dangerous, depending on where you go. The island itself is a a strange collection, if you will. 
is, you've come straight here, yes? Like, what do you mean, like, from where? That's a very broad, uh, broad question. Because? No, we, we haven't come straight here. We were, <laughs> we were actually um, just east of Urukezul um, before arriving at this island, just west, south, southeast, sorry, mm. up here. All, All right. directions. We get around. <clears throat> well, here on this island, among the Vaux, uh, as it is the central focus of the world around us, uh, it is home to many strange slivers of different parts of the world as well that create this landmass. Uh, beneath the trees, there are odd landmarks that claim shelter to other dangerous beasts that may be a surprise to find here on the ocean. A number of unnatural, dangerous denizens. We've lost many through the generations to some of these hazards and predators, but so long as the scouting and hunting parties are keeping watch, and I am able to defend this village, we endure under the light of our god. You said through the generations. Um, do you mind if we ask how long you've uh, been on this island? I myself have only been for uh, close to three decades, personally. But we've had at least 10 to 11 generations, I believe, oh. since the village began. And where were you before uh, being on the island? It's interesting. There is something about this island that gives and takes away. By finding your destiny here and being a part of the important presence of Okoro and keeping these people safe and gathering from the islands many rewards and boons, it also takes from you the things that are less important in life. So. Many, if not most of us, don't quite recall where we were from. But in the long run, that's not as important anyway. Do you remember like any locations at all in general, or do you just not remember where you're from? Like, does anything exist outside of the island here? I mean, the greater world of Exandria, <clears throat> yes. Um, Nations, ruling parties? Power ships? The, and you can see like a lot of folks around there, and like Lukash as well, they're all kind of racking their minds a bit, and there's kind of a, a communal hint of cloudy confusion, and you gather rather rapidly that probably not. Wow. Do you yourself remember <clears throat> why you came to this island? I do not. Many of us here have a hard time recalling. Some it's by shipwreck, some it's by curiosity, some it's by fate, most it's by fate. And she kind of looks and smiles and everyone kind of agrees and nods. But for whatever reasons we come here, some go, but most stay. So if you wanted to leave, you could leave. We're not keeping you here by any means. Who was the last person who left that you can remember? <laughs> it's hard to recall. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's like a sense of embarrassment almost. You get the idea based on the reactions, you especially, and you both being generally very insightful folk. Um, these are questions or attempts at recollection that probably don't happen too often or haven't for a very long time, and so they're kind of in the midst of preparing to answer and then realizing they don't have one. What, what was the level of sincerity on, of course you can leave? Uh, it seems sincere. Okay. Best that you could tell. All right. With your ridiculous passive insight. Sack at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're certainly interested in you assembling your, your quorum. Um, not to be too forward, your your deity, this Vokodo, um, mm. are they a benevolent god? Are they interested in meeting outsiders, or is it more of a, an inner circle type of thing? 
I do not know. Um, those who come to Vo do meet at least once, but the path is treacherous, and the journey is one of uh, acceptance on Vokodo's behalf, not one that can be forced, necessarily. Um, I myself make treks to and from the interior of the mountain to meet with Vokodo fairly often, and What's, it's between these. What, what, did, what does Vokodo look like? Vokodo is the mountain and yet is a projection of its essence within the mountain. You see fire and flame, but there is water. There are caverns, woven, plants, a place of life, brimming with, with creation within. And in the midst of that is where Vokodo is. Do you think if um, your, your triumvirate um, would agree to our proposal that you would also need permission from Vokodo itself? That would be the only permission you require. Ah, got it. We have no issue, though I cannot confirm that unless we are, of course, the quorum required. We await Terra before we could make such sweeping uh, decisions. Sure, no, we, we, are, we function much the same. We, <clears throat> we make all our decisions together, and usually Caleb decides, though, because he's, he's sort of the leader of the group. And you are Caleb, then? Uh, my name is Caleb Budogast, yes. Um, uh, I'm curious to know, uh, are you aware of any other peoples on this island? There are, and have <laughs> been some. We hate them. <laughs> <laughs> there have been some wandering, unscrupulous ships that have come to pry previously. Um, pirates, if you will. Some attempted to use the island to stash materials. Sometimes they met a terrible end by the dangerous denizens of the island that they themselves were not prepared for and did not come to us for protection beforehand. Those that did survive or found us first, well, and Viridian points over to another side of the group of there, and you can see there's three individuals look pretty scrappy and scarred up um, based on the missing teeth and the, uh, <laughs> the rather intense demeanor. You can see they probably spent a harsh life at sea. Um, and based on your experience, you can see some of the tattoos that mark elements of the uh, symbols or older symbols of Dark Toe. Mm -hmm. so, oh, sorry. Go some ahead. stay. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I was just curious because you mentioned uh, this island kind of containing slivers of land and uh, from all over. What, what, could you elaborate on what you mean by that? Hmm. Well, there are pockets of this island that provide different bounties. There is, for instance, the Winding Core, which is the most abundant home, where we mine from the very island itself the beautiful gems and diamonds and various gifts from the land that we can refine and thus bring to Vokoro as part of the worship and love that we offer. There are other places, such as uh, the Shaded Tangle, which lies along the path towards the entrance to Vokodo's lair within the mountain itself. A cold place where color seems to be muted, where the mists grow cold. There is the ruin, far to the north, on the other side of the mountain. Structures strange, and not from anywhere in Exandria that I've encountered or can recall. Ooh. Sounds interesting. And to the northeast, there are the Heaven Falls, which is still a mystery to our people. Many strange locations, but there are many strange locations in Exandria, yes? <clears throat> yes, yes. It's yeah. the density here. As you grow closer to the core of this world, 
where everything begins to become a bit jumbled, if you will. How long do you would you say it would take to get to some of these places? Can you walk around the whole island in a day, or? Uh, in a few days to reach the northern shore, based on being careful. Uh, it's about a seven to eight hour journey to the base of Rumblecusp itself. Uh, and to the entrance to the layers. Um, a couple of days, maybe, to the Heaven Falls. It also depends on how many are going and under what means, because we want to remain safe and remain unseen. Those beasts uh, that Pono and uh, Jaina helped, um, Jana, Jaina, 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 I think? Jaina, Jaina. Jaina yeah. Oh, about Pono, right? I got to write that down right? Yeah. Oh no! Um, are, are there more of those types of beasts out there, or are there all manner of dangerous creatures as well? Oh, there are there are more of those and all manner of beasts. Yes. Have, have, oh. have, this one's important. Yeah, go, go. Have you always been able to use vines like that? Was that the thing that was given to you here, or what? What do you mean, like use vines? How many oh, of us? So, yeah. Many of us have different gifts. Uh, the children that grow up here. Sometimes discover ones of themselves. Others come here with gifts, often uncertain as to their origins. But I've always known how to do this, just as they've always known how to embrace the animalistic nature, and points over towards Jaina and Pono, as you pointed them out. So this place is like the the Bermuda Triangle oh. yeah. mixed with like Professor Xavier's <laughs> and the well, island from Lost. Island of Dr. Moreau. Mm. Uh, yeah. This is much better. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are we are certainly Savage land. we are certainly fortunate to have come across you uh, for protection and uh, for information. We we are grateful and will do anything uh, in our power to return the favor. Do we need to go to Vokodo, like, personally and ask permission, or is that something you're going to do for us, or what? I would say if you had a chance to appeal to Vokodo, personally would go a long way. For me, being but an intermediary, I worry there might be details lost in translation, as I myself do not fully understand the nature of what it is you ask. Well, it's 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 pretty confusing, so I guess it would make sense that. Um, what kind of stuff does Vokodo like? Gems, right? But gems, like sparkly, sparkly things. And are they, are they of the 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 benevolent variety or, or more wrathful, as a deity? Just like any creature, there is light and there is dark. Vokodo protects, and Vokodo is the beating heart and heat of this island. Vokodo keeps things that threaten this way of life at bay, but Vokodo also, like all of us, requires sustenance, requires worship, requires something to maintain this good cause. And in the past, though not in my time, when such things were put to the wayside, wrath could occur. I, I am caught on one particular word um, you used, uh, sustenance. What, what is it that you tend to feed Vokodo? A, a figure of speech. Huh. Vokodo does not eat, but amasses the bounty. Okay. Benevolent for the last yeah. thirty years. Pretty good track record. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna it's gonna be fine because we'll bring we'll bring some nice gifties, some mm. shinies, and we'll be okay. I guess we're gonna have to go to the um, the winding <clears throat> cove and get some gems. We might we might have some on our on our person already. It's the it's essence of preciousness. The essence oh. of preciousness. Things so that it are doesn't precious. like have to be oh. locally sourced or anything. We can no. You He's carry amongst yourselves okay. here yeah. an incredible plethora of precious things. Uh -huh. And but you, you kind of look at yourselves and look around, and you begin to really notice like everybody around you is wearing tattered clothing, 
leathers, skins, hide, rusted chain, if any previous metal, and nothing else. No accessories, bare bones, basic attire. Mm. Even all everything you see around, there's no decor that brings it beyond anything functional. And you now realize all of you in the ways that you dress and the armor and equipment and magical enchantments that you carry uh, very much stand out like a sore thumb by comparison. I'm going to cast Detect Magic really quickly. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Nothing except for what's on you. If we stop and think about it, can we recall how long it took us to get from the beach to where we are now? Yeah, uh, it took you roughly. Precisely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pre- <laughs> precisely. Uh, four hours, yeah. 36 minutes, and 13 seconds. Give or take a few seconds. For That's no. Very impressive. Precisely. precisely. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't like to let them feel bad, you know. <laughs> a little bit. I understand. Okay. So we haven't gotten hazy on how long we've been away from the beach. No. Well, Wait. oh, oh sorry. no, go. No, no. Jesse, you it's too. Your You're like of a mind. It's amazing. I know. Well, Same yeah, way. Yeah. Kind of, you know. Um, <laughs> how long did it take you to be here before you lo- like lost your memory? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. I think what she means is. Um, I don't know. I know that's How what you How long means. were you here before you started forgetting? <laughs> that question is a trap, Jester. <laughs> this is when they eat our faces. Our faces. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a bit of an amused chuckle, and then kind of an an inward furrowing to the brow, and then it relaxes once more. And Viridian says. The taking of these unnecessary thoughts by the island, I do not think there is a science to it. Maybe it pertains to how much you give. It is a trade. Maybe it's a slow, natural element, but I don't think it's a refined science. But you all are happy here, it seems. Well? And she opens her hands a bit, and everyone around kind of nods. They don't know any better. Yeah. Well, this is a very impressive village. It's, this is just amazing. Look, Ash, I was like, well, thank you very much. We take a lot of pride in Oh, you should. This, yeah. this is great. I wish I had something like this back at home. This is a, well, this is a lot. You could. Oh, well. <laughs> Appreciate the offer. Well, just stay a while. See if, no pressure, but. Um, this is a grand community filled with wonderful people. Where we are on the island, is there, um, are we able to see down and in the direction of the beach that we left the ship at? Like, are we up on the side of the island at all? Any kind of a... I mean, you're, you're in a, a raised area, but the tree cover here, the, the jungle trees, yep. go from like 100 to 200 or more feet up. Oh, shit. And the canopy is extremely dense. The only reason that you knew this village was here is because Frumpkin had seen it through the clearing. And even the clearing here, there's only elements of clearing, because there are still trees in the middle of this opening, but it's a lot of the lumber's been pulled out to build some of these structures and to kind of establish this place as well as put up like a perimeter fence in areas. Um, so yeah, you ha- all you can view is the elements of the mountain that managed to peek through in the like afternoon light, and that's about it. Are there any children here? There are children. Hmm. You see probably about a dozen or so children. Okay, that's good. Yeah. They don't eat babies. I know, I thought maybe that's, that's yeah. just like... Good. The children They're precious. are the old ones. <laughs> well, is there a place we can freshen up before Din Din? Ah, uh, <laughs> Lukash could probably uh, take care of that. I'm going to continue uh, showing up the perimeter and looking for Terra's arrival. Uh, sometimes her and her parties can bring a few stragglers and we have to be prepared based on what attention they've drawn. Mm. But, Lukash, if you don't mind. Oh, not to worry. Friends, mighty nine. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, this way, please. Follow me. And uh, Lukash leads you off uh, through the village. People still kind of follow from a distance before slowly scattering off, going more about their business that they were already handling throughout the day. Um, 
eventually you come to what looks to be a hollowed out tree trunk. Um, the tree is cut off about 60 feet up, although looking at it, it may not have cut off more than it just fell. Maybe it was old and diseased or burned at the top, whatever it is, at about 50 feet up, it kind of angles off and the interior is completely hollowed out. As you step inside, underneath where the roots are, there is this kind of nice little wooden door that pushes in, and it's a very humble, if somewhat cramped for the seven of you, uh, abode. There's some basic furniture, some that looks like it was scavenged from uh, a ship previously, based on the height and size of the stools. Some of it looks to be fashioned here. Uh, there are four beds, and then what looks to be some like cushions and uh, basic blanket set up. Uh, the blankets are a little old, but they're functional. Um, and as you're kind of led into it, you can see waiting off to the side, there's a family of, looks to be uh, dwarves that are kind of just nodding to you and kind of ushering you in. Was this your house? Uh, it was, but we're happy to let you stay here for a while. We've got, oh, some, oh, we've got friends to shack up with. We're we have, we, have a, we can have our own tent. We have tent. It's our, it's our, our, our honor. Please, it's an honor to have you stay here tonight. What's your name? It's too much. It's fine, really, honestly. Don't worry about it. I'm Doran, this is my family, and we're all, we're, we stay here most times. If anything, it would be nice to have a bit of a, a change of pace. Hmm. Uh, Lukash, this is, of course, extremely generous. Is there anything that we can do to help for the evening's festivities? I mean, we. We can be of service. Yeah, we're good cooks, and um, we have some spices and teas and things. Perhaps. We're good musicians, too. Mm hmm. Hmm. Entertainment, I think, would be greatly appreciated. Oh. We only have a few musicians in the island, and I want to be completely honest, they're a little yeah. out of practice. Uh, so that would be wondrous. We have some We have some performing bards among you, and. Yes, we have a band called, I think it's Yasha and the Orphan Makers. Is that what? Well, um, yes, but we are short a Excellent. member of. A flautist. A flautist. Well, you, maybe you can just scream along with the music, because yeah. that's kind of what it sounded like anyway. I mean, it, it's just not the same. Well, we're not short of flautist, we're short of flout, the flute. Yeah, right? yeah. flautist is live and well. Maybe they have something that you could play. We could definitely provide some, some entertainment to. Um, Wonderful. Thank you. And for those who wish to help with the meat, I can introduce you to Enola, who handles the. Uh, mass cooking for the the village delights. That that, uh, that might be where I am best put to service, to be to be honest. So I would love to see uh, what it is that what everybody eats out here. I'm always excited by new food. Of course. Well, yeah, I'll join you, Cad. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, rest a while, a bit. I'll come right. get you when it's necessary. We're still waiting for the hunting parties to return before we can actually. Uh, prepare the extent of tonight's meal. Oh yeah. I actually did ha uh, have a question. It's. Um, is it safe to be outside at night, or do you all generally stay indoors? We generally try and stay within the village. Uh, it's dangerous in some places, regardless of the time of day, but there are some nocturnal predators that we prefer to stay within <laughs> the protective uh, arena of the village, both at the watch of Terra and the hunters upon their return, who keep a, an eye and shifts throughout the night, as well as Viridian, <laughs> And her sleepless talents with nature. Hmm. Uh, Lukash, was Pono uh, uh, and Jaina part of uh, Terra's hunting party, just on a separate area of the island? Yes. Uh, there are multiple hunting parties, but Terra oversees and organizes them before they go out, as well as uh, when the night is done, call them in and take stock of what they managed to acquire and haul. Uh, please extend our thanks. They actually came to our aid uh, as we were being besieged upon by those terrible beasts. With, yes. Uh, I, I saw them guiding you into the village. They're good folk. A bit ornery, depending on the weather, but uh, effective. <laughs> anyway, uh, should you need anything, just uh, let someone in the vicinity know you look for Lukash. In the meantime, rest and I'll retrieve you when the night has uh, begun its planning cycle. A dinner around sundown? Yes. Mm -hmm. What time of day is it? Okay. Oh, it's. Uh... You guys, because you, you did shave some time off, you arrived around like 10 or so in the morning, mm -hmm. traveled to the village, and kind of arrival and getting situated here. It's now, it's about two or three in the afternoon, I'd say, give or take. So you have a handful of hours before sundown, so. Well, thank you, Lukash. Uh, are we free to um, wander the village? Uh, yes, I would recommend not wandering too far out of it. Yeah. How far is is not, no longer safe? With a tree line comes back. Right. What's with the mist? 
it's, it's misty. Why is it misty? <laughs> because it is. It's always been misty. Is the mist dangerous? No, but some dangerous things use the mist to not be seen, so maybe steer clear of it. <laughs> okay. All right. See you all very soon. <gasps> Ooh, huh? Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Is this the thing we're doing now? Yeah. So, you guys. So. Wow, this so place much to is unpack. perfect for traveler con. This village, oh. don't you think? The well, village itself. Well, we're, we're what what is need, the plan here? Yeah, we're going to need more than a week to prepare for the arrival of all of your acolytes. Also, we can't have it here; they'll become villagers forever. Well, that would be great because the traveler really doesn't want that many followers. Yeah, but uh, um, two things. One, we should find out what this Vokodo is, and two, is anybody else worried about the ship? Yeah, a little bit. I, would I, I think feel... we should probably let them know that they are expecting visitors, and they should I can send probably... a message. Or just hide. I feel like they're going to hide. burn the ship. Especially... Why would they burn the ship? They seem nice enough. They say that well, they nobody leaves, but that also might be because they might have not have the means to leave after they arrive. We didn't mention that we have any crew, did we? We didn't. Maybe we did. But beyond that, oh, I can't it's remember. Started. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> what's your name again? What's your face? I'm going to send a message to Orly before I forget who Orly is. Oh, actually, you what? know what? Caleb, no, do that. But Caleb, you have a lot of paper and, and writing implements, right? I am actually out of paper and need some. Oh man, I was going to ask how it you feel. You're like it. always out of paper. Well, I, I, we buy paper and then you're instantly out. I go through it quickly. Yeah. What are you? I'm efficient. Oh, do we have any yeah, It's like an inkjet. <laughs> We, I, I was just thinking, maybe in, in case we start losing our memories, maybe we should write down a, a quick log of everything that's happened to us since we've been here. So oh, I mean, I'm, I'm already doing Ooh, that. That's a really, oh, that's right. Bo but for real, or is that Marisha? No, oh, really? No, Bo also really does that. Okay. And I've been, I will be definitely. That, Bo? Yeah, yeah, I can take notes. I mean, it wasn't act, I wasn't like walking and I taking also notes, but. Don't yeah. forget anything. Well, I know, but what if you do forget something? No, but yep. I don't. But, but what if it's supernatural? You do. Your brain can still be affected. Did by things. Well, why would you remember to find it in a book then after that? Oh, Jesus, we should write a note to remind us to look in the book. Okay. Who is All right, this that'll be my Jesus. first note. <laughs> uh, the, look in this book. From yes. our two clerics, do either of you have any um, experience with. Read the restoration! With, like, what? Diseases or. or Read the restoration! restoration. I, got, I almost got it that time. Yeah. yeah. Do you have it prepared? Because I uh, don't. Yeah, probably. Uh, usually. I mean, yeah, it makes sense that Clay would. You have it prepared. Yeah, usually. I got it. Would that would that get rid of a, a loss of memory? A magical Depends. a magical curse of Depends. possibly. Well, Maybe. The, and the wild mother has also given me the ability to remove a poison or cure a disease. If this is like a biological thing that this mist is doing, so this, we could try that. This in one seems of the... this seems more spooky ooky. This feels yeah. like I agree. Like modify memory gone really wrong or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but what if what if? Maybe they they wanted to forget. That's what I was just thinking. What if? Like, what if they came? Something brought them here because they wanted to forget things from their former life. Mm. I mean, they're convinced that this place is the center of the universe. I feel like, um, yeah. but eventually, you're like just going to believe that no matter what. Everybody that comes here stays. Yeah, the percentages and are just so. Does that high. mean all of us came here because we wanted to forget? I don't um, think not on the other to... end of it. I mean. They've got this uh, Vakodo, who uh, demands precious things, things just not things of worth, but things that are precious. Yeah. And when you run out of precious things, what are you left with mm. to give? Yourself. Then yourself. Minutes. Maybe that's what. Maybe that's what it takes. But it doesn't it's seem like most then? deities require. Oh Material thing. I'm not convinced this is a deity. Mm, me neither. It's got. I to really want to else. meet him, though. Yes, we are going or to have many questions him. unanswered until we find this avocado. What if it's just a giant avocado? <laughs> <laughs> that would be delicious. Like the kind you eat. Yeah. Avocado. I'd never leave. <laughs> a giant of. I can just see the I'm going to send a message now. to Orly before I forget that I said I was going to send a message to Orly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Orly! Avocado! We found, count this, four. 
Uh, count this. Count what? <laughs> Sending a message. Orly. Oh! We found. We count found. This. Ford, count this. No. Sorry. <laughs> a village. <laughs> the people here could be crazy. Maybe you guys should hide. Also, they might try to destroy ship. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't, I mean, they're not going to hide the ship. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, if they come and they're like, we're going to destroy the ship because nobody's around, then Orly and the crew can come out and be like, fuck you, and then they can destroy the people. Orly and our crew? There's four people yeah. in all those Marius is dead. Marius is so tough. <laughs> they're <laughs> dead. Uh, you do get a response from oh, Orly. That's right. Goes, uh, <laughs> appreciate the heads up. <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> mighty well hidden. We'll keep an eye. Won't we'll be under. And he just trails off. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be under. I love him. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we just go to dinner. I mean, what's the plan? We're, we're going to. We <gasps> already. What? What? I can give the villagers tarot card readings. I yeah. don't know what that's gonna do. I mean, is, they they is seem that like what they're, they're going to do for the next few hours. They seem like they're they're living in the moment. They've given up all worldly possessions and their memories. Yeah. They're just living for the now. So I don't know if they would care about their future. I think their past and future is all in the volcano at the moment. There, there was a lot what if of every just... card they pull is just a volcano? <laughs> I don't, I think they'll agree. <laughs> Do we remember how long he said it was to the... Yes! <laughs> the Shaded Tangle, do we remember how long he said it was to get to that door? Uh, the, From here? Uh, he said eight hours to get eight to Eight hours there. to the volcano, and the shady thing leads to... Is yeah. like it, it, it travels I want to go to Heaven Falls. Heaven Falls or they the, ru the ruins. Heaven Falls was north. Both of those sound awesome. But those were further, oh, and then the ruins are on the far oh, north, north side. Yeah, and okay. Heaven Falls is at the north, too, so the we could hit up both. Northeast. The ruins yeah. could oh, also be like the ruins of, of like an old hotel and convention center. I know, that like, what really if Heaven Falls is just like this beautiful, I mean, Heaven Falls, what if that's like the perfect place to go? Yeah, that, what I if assumed we would be location well. scouting. Yeah, 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 yeah. And find a, a proper place for your guests to arrive and stay, whether it's this village or somewhere else. And you want to get the lay of the land before you talk with the big cheese. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know, I got to tell them where to let everybody go. Yeah. But that is an excellent point. I mean, we, this island is a lot bigger than we anticipated. How do we know how to direct people when they land? There could be beaches all around this island. Well, we say if we are going to Heaven Falls, we go. Land on the north side of the beach. Yeah. Oh. Traveler and disseminate. Uh, yeah, how are you communicating this? Because I'm going to tell the traveler and he's going to tell everyone. I also can create some sort of a, a beacon for for your fellow acolytes to. Oh, so we can like, to... shoot up in the air? Yeah, or yeah I can put something in. Like into... searchlights? Or well, we can make a bonfire, at least with smoke coming up. And, oh know, man, I put the banner at the other side. I'm going to go back and get the fucking banner. <laughs> <laughs> Just let that banner go. No, Sorry. no, we. I have some stuff too that, it, that I should get at some point. Maybe we can have Marius run it up to us. We could just sail around the. Marius, end. please. He would lose his memory in two seconds and be stuck here forever. Do you yeah, have your he does. Paper? Well, as long as he brought the stuff, <laughs> uh, I can make be you okay. another banner as well. Oh. Uh, Marius still hasn't killed anyone, has he? No, he sucks, that's what I said. No, he's fine. I mean, plenty he's of good. reasonable people I know haven't killed anybody. <laughs> Name one. Okay, that's a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> that's really sad. No, no yes. Really sad. We need to meet better people. What no, I'm we... seriously like worrying about like a lot of decisions I made in life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they were all bad. <laughs> I mean, it's rough out there. Hmm. What if um, we turn into giant birds and we just grab everyone and we fly and that way we don't have to walk across the island and we can get there super fast? Grab everyone? You mean us? Grab us? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Are we going to wonder twins this? Is that the plan? Uh, or you could just go and come back before dinner unless you wanted to also scope out the shaded tangle entrance. Well, I'll, I'll also say I'm a little worried about eating the food. I know I am too. Well, we're going to be, we volunteered to help cook, so That's we'll get a closer 
Is it because of gluten? I mean, that's a concern, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Uh, no. The avocado thing makes International sense. food can be quite rewarding. You should really give it a try. Considering that the, the only pinch. person who's eaten anything on this island so yeah, far is. It, it was a little tough um, a, to eat, but I, I think uh, I'm very excited to, to try the, the food of the land. Would, Do you would feel you like it's going your, to give you the shits? Yeah. Say again. It was spicy, uh, wasn't that? What it, it was spicy, but I don't think it's gonna go bad the further down it goes. You know? mm-hmm. I think it's okay. I think the food's gonna be very good. I, mm-hmm. I worry that the food might be part of the problem. <laughs> and I'm, oh. I don't have the tools right now to really know. <laughs> There was a lot of nodding and smiling in like all the villagers. You notice that? Like everyone that you, you were like, hey, do, are you happy? Are you like here? And they're just like, eh. No, they are not they're right. Nice in people. Head. No, and then they were like, oh, we don't want to like move into your house. We can totally camp outside. And they were like, eh. They're I mean, nice. They're, that's what nice people look like, Bo. I f- named one nice person. We just talked about how we only know people. That's we've not ki- real. We've killed all the nice people. It's unsettling. They don't know why they have come here. They don't remember where they came from. They have nothing on them except for rags. Yeah, I, I, I love nice, but I mean, you got to have boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing before dinner? Flying back and coming back? Or only few going and the rest of us stay? Going, what, to the boat? I thought you said you were going to get supplies or some shit. I think shit. he was talking about flying us across the, the island to go to, to the, go ruins. the ruins. Yes, stuff. that's the best. Oh, great, so we're just hanging out until dinner ruins. then. I think, so. I think so. Well, I don't, are we just going to scope it out further? We're not going to go exploring in a I guess few we could walk around the village, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Ah, yeah, let's walk around. Yeah. We yeah. grab our hotel room keys and we <laughs> head out to explore the resort. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, We'll say for the purposes of, of the circumstance, you guys have spent a little bit of time in the house, just kind of like getting your bearings, like a short rest, kind of a yeah. way in there. Okay. Very short rest, uh, if you needed it. Um, no. You do okay. sense, and still in this house, it hasn't really left you, and you guys haven't talked about it openly, but you all still feel that creeping sense that you're being watched. You know, you keep fucking that? saying that. Is that DM? something we should talk about? <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. I'm, but um, I Lord, will. Do you want to do your sea invisibility thing? Yeah. Maybe that would be so smart. Ooh, ooh. My what? Is no. that okay to drink? It's been here for you know a couple of weeks. Um, I can I can see invisibility. <laughs> yes, yes, you can see invisibility. Sure. <laughs> I'll summon the sword. All right. <laughs> and I will <laughs> cast the invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. You do, and as your vision shimmers, that faint kind of veil of silver gossamer that kind of permeates the vicinity that would itself adhere to and bring prominently forth anything that is invisible um, reveals nothing out of the ordinary. There. Yeah. Everywhere. What? what? What is? Beasts of what? incalculable size. No, I can't fucking just nothing. Fine. <laughs> Fine. When we walk around the village, should I go invisible just in case you want me to like go scope something out that's behind the curtain or something? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds great. We'll just say you're sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've got indigestion. Sea-sick. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I ate some, totally. of, some of the flowers. You had thing. some of the flowers. Yeah. Just, just for fun, I'm going to burn a divine intervention. Okay, go for it. What's Ooh. watching us? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it never going to happen, but it's always worth trying. True. So wait, you got a commune spell later. You could always try that. Uh, not till tomorrow. Do we okay. see Doran as we're leaving? Uh, the, the dwarf whose family normally resides here. Uh, no, he's the, the family is no longer waiting outside of the abode. You guys have kind of been left on your own, and there's nobody waiting for you when you exit. Everyone's kind of returned to their uh, their general routine. Um, Are there I do, however. Orbs? Sorry. If I could get everyone, if oh, you don't mind, shit. to just make a, an investigation check for me. Eight investigation checks. I love it. Mm. Ooh, yeah. What? Ooh, hoo, hoo. 25. Ooh. Oh, damn. 18. <clears throat> 21. Natural 20 plus 11. Whoa! Whoa. 17. All right. 15. Okay. 23. Oh, wow. Not too okay. bad. Okay. All right, cool. Dope. 
So you continue on. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. That wasn't. We didn't. Are, we wanna, is there, are there drawers? Are there cabinets in this house? Is there a safe? What, what did What did they leave behind? Uh, it's it's basic furniture. There's no cabinets. There is there isn't a, a no massive idea. need for cabinetry oh, here. The bedside, you know, hotels. Is there you know? <laughs> there is no Gideon's Bible. Gideon's Bible, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like I said, there's, there's a a handful of of really simple bed platforms, and there is a table and some stools, and that's mm-hmm. primarily it. It's no, no other belongings. Yeah, decorations. No decorations. Do with two hands. No other. Sign that it feels like someone's home. Does it just look like a crash pad? <laughs> kind of. Uh, things may have been taken out. Is is there a sense, maybe just in a discoloration of the walls or otherwise, that there was once furniture or things in here? You know how sometimes you get a little impression from things of being against mm-hmm. a wall for too long, and then you. Um. Just kind of. A, if there's anything that that hints that this was once a more lavish home. Go ahead. Go ahead and make an investigation. All right. Come on, cat. I'm going to boost this one because I would. This is something. I'd How do you boost it? I'm using guidance. Guidance. Didn't know if you were like. Oh. Whoa. Wait, this. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, all right. That's a uh, twenty-two. Nice. No. <laughs> Best that you can tell. Um, the only things that have been taken have been simple. Weapons or tools, mm. things that uh, might you can see like a little bit of like kind of dust residue around the shapes of some things that were taken, but no art pieces, no pieces of furniture were removed. No, like you know, pencil marks carved into door frames to signify their kids growing. Nothing like that. Uh, not this this particular abode. No, don't trust it. No, uh, yeah, no. Uh, we're all that. We're all that like video plaster. gamer that can't leave the they first level. <laughs> no, uh, no plaster patches from nails in the wall for like a Pink Floyd post. Moving the all right, no, nothing like that. It's a, it's the a chairs. tree. We're at the base of the tree. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You guys are are, are inside the hollowed out tree, um, getting ready to exit from what you were saying. So and just the ceiling is just at the top of the. Uh, if you look up into the hollow, there um, it kind of just goes straight up, and you can see where it breaks off the top. And there are a couple of small, looks like almost shelf platforms above, uh, about twenty or so feet up. Let's take a look at that. Oh hell yeah! I send Frumpkin up. Oh well, that'll do too. Okay. Frumpkin heads up. Um, in the shelf units, there you can see there is a, a small kind of wooden chest that is tucked into one of the little. Platforms there with a folded blanket, and the other platform is a little further up. Um, you see what looks to be some uh, jeweler's tools, mm. um, like a small kit for jewel making and jewelry making. You totally found the hidden shit. It's a platformer. Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, Boragard, there are some uh, things up above. Would you like to do your monk thing you do? Yep. Dope monk shit coming up. Bing, 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 bing. Wall climb. And what's your your movement is? Fifty. Yeah, that's enough to get there. Monks. <laughs> so yeah, you 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 kind of run up one side and leap off the other one and <laughs> ricocheting, kind of parkouring until eventually you grab one of the platforms and kind of pull yourself up. There's just enough space to like barely stand on it with your arms in the wall. Um, it's, it's Can I do that cool like wedge myself kind of thing? Is it close enough? Uh, the other wall is not close enough to wedge yourself between. Oh. At this point, you're kind of having to jump off and to catch the edge to get up there. But the actual platform itself is kind of thin, based on the chest that's there. So you're kind of having to straddle it a little bit and push yourself against the wall. Rumpkin lands on your head, Dagon style. There you go. Kit, kit. Um, is it? Can I push that's the chest? Is one hit point. So. <laughs> <laughs> is it heavy enough that I can push the chest off? Uh, it's pretty light. Okay. Forward. Catch. What? Huh. No, 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 no. How big is this fucking chest you just threw You said it was from? light? It's, it's light ish. Like it's, it's, not, it's not full. 50 fucking feet in the air? Yeah. Piece of shit. Yeah. I found Incoming. 800 flat. So go ahead and make a strength check for me. I'm not catching that. <laughs> okay. I'm getting out of the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it shatters on the ground. Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, tell, you throw it, you say Ford, Ford goes, no, 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 and then just refuses to grab it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I try on, to grab on. it? Roll. 
Roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Okay, come on. To see if you see if you have <laughs> just <laughs> just enough have reflex advantage. timing. Stick okay. your head on a four-story yep. window. And be like, here. Okay. Catch this so, air conditioner. Uh, you want a TV? <laughs> no this isn't a trap, so you don't have advantage on it. This isn't like a hazard. Oh, okay. So that uh, that was uh, an eighteen plus um, three, twenty-one. Okay. As you pull back your hands. Diving almost between your legs and catching it right before it hits the oh. ground, your knuckles crack into the ground. Oh. Um, but but only just from the the the, the, the weight of the yeah the, the, the momentum of it hitting your hands, but you do prevent it from shattering. Uh, sorry, I think the the, okay. the gravity added to the weight. It's fine. Right. I just didn't want to ruin Would the Would you stuff, get you know, down here? Really what are you that. thinking? Wait, there's another. Hang on. No, no, <gasps> don't throw yeah. any more shit. Other platform. The other platform. Yeah, and there's. <laughs> There's a little, um, looks like a collection on a stool. Some of the stools down below, and it has a little leather, partially unrolled uh, toolkit in there that has all sorts of small jeweler's tools. It's a jeweler's kit. Very similar to the one that I keep. Yeah. Any other jewels or, or anything else up here? Mm -mm, just that. Does it look like it's been used? Is anybody watching us do this? I make a perception check. Something is. Well, you still have uh, see uh, invisible things as well. That's true. Uh, 16. 16. You don't notice anyone paying attention to you in the vicinity. Yeah, are they coated in dust? Does it look like they've been used? No, but they're, they're fairly rusted. Uh, they're, they look okay. old, um, but they've been used. You can see where, a lot, where the areas where they would mostly be used, the rust has been rubbed off of it. Um, the ocean air, as it often does with iron and other metals like that, um, has done some exterior damage to the areas that aren't put to most use, but it's, it's a functional jeweler's kit. How did they get up here? Do I, when coming up the wall, did I notice any type of like handholds or grooves, something that they yeah, would use? Yeah, there, there, there are, it's not smooth. Like it's it's a rough, hollowed out interior of the trees. There are, and it's what you use to kind of jump off and get yourself up there was just the, hmm. the somewhat uneven interior of the tree bark. Doran's got moves, I think. I think he's got to be ripped under there, man. Well, well, well but what do you see? Maybe it's not his. That's true. I mean, I have a feeling that the families maybe they are not allowed to have any materialistic things, right? They're not allowed to own anything, so maybe yeah, they just knows how long. they don't have assigned houses. You they know? just sort of go around to each house a, as they like providing sexual favors for each other. Maybe, or? maybe. Oh, maybe that's the thing is, here. Is that a thing? That's a thing. I bring you jewels, you cut them up, and then we bone. Is that how it goes? Yeah, I've heard or of I've heard surprisingly of. excited by your dick statues. Is there anything else up here? Nope. <laughs> okay, so no, does found... it go up any higher? Can I touch the? Uh, you're, all, you're almost towards the top of where the tree itself is broken, and it opens up into the sky. Get, get up there, see if it's still misty and shit. Can I kind of? Shimmy my way up. And I'd say you'd be able the... to. Yeah, it's rough enough, and you you're very well practiced at this sort of thing. So you eventually kind of leap up, grab part of it starts to crack and pull back, and so you quickly leap and not put your full weight on that one side, and then eventually pull yourself up over where you can look beyond the peak of the broken part of the tree itself. And as you look down, you can see the village from a higher height. Um, there are still trees that are taller around you, so you can't see above the canopy. This is not the tallest tree, and it's partially broken down, but you have a nice view of the village from a slightly higher perspective, and it's it's kind of cool, as simple as it is. Like, it's beautiful, people are working together. Um, it's simple, but functional. Do you can see now that there is, on the northern side of the village, there uh, are bonfires being set up. There is one large central one, and there are smaller, two smaller ones to each side of it. Um, it looks like chairs and tables are being set up now, probably for the feast tonight. Just doing a quick scan of yes. the people. Do I notice anyone who looks shifty or is being weird? They all look shifty. Make a perception check. Okay. I love that you're judging people by their looks. <laughs> I totally. Shifty, happy people everywhere. Totally profiling. Um, Not holding hands, though. <laughs> what was it? Perception? Yeah. 14. Not 14. I mean. <laughs> there isn't anybody in the corner with a long trend show going like, oh, they'll never see me. Everyone seems to be, you know, they're they're okay. they're from all over the map as far as backgrounds look. That's my next you know, character. You, have, you have some people where their their attire oh. resembles aspects of almost like a, a Marquesian background. There are some folks that have um, 
some Dwendalian attire. There's a handful yeah. of folk like they. I guess have. I mean more in their demeanor than their appearance. Right. Best that you can tell, most everyone is going about a daily routine. Some, a lot of them are helping set up the the meal for the evening. Okay. Um, but nobody is like hiding in the shadows or having, you know, uh, clandestine conversations in the in the unseen corners of the village. I'm going to scoop up the jeweler's kit on the way back down and head on down. Okay. Uh, Veth, do you want to safely take a look at this chest? Oh, yes, of course. Do we think it might be magical, or? I'll check it for traps. Go for it. <laughs> 26. 26, it is not trapped. I will unlock it! Back you back. go to it, and the, the lock is rusted and broken. You you can just, and it pulls off the wood. The wood just splinters. Was I've it dusty it. at all, or did it look like it's been opened or something? Todo does it looks really dusty. Locks. Okay. Ooh. Okay. You look inside <laughs> and you. <laughs> Blue ink. Shards of diamond glass into your eyes. Ah! Um, you look inside and there are two sets of pristine outfits, like really nice silk outfits, mm. folded and placed in there. There is a, uh, a mostly clean, if a little damp on the underside, child's doll. Oh, there's nothing creepier than that. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. Are there any notes? Are there any notes? Yeah, yeah. There, are these inside, grown, there up, anything? grown up attire? There, there are no notes. You do see, however, a silver pocket watch. Silver well, pocket watch, two two outfits. Like, are they ceremonial attire? Gown? No, they, they look to be more like middle to upper class. Nightgowns? Um, no. Like, close. Just clothes. Um, Is the pocket watch a great? Yeah. The, on the back side of it, there are initials carved into it. B V. B V. Not B V D S. Big Van. B V. Big B Meridian. B period V period. Correct. B period V. Is it? Meridian. Does it work? Can I wind Bobby it up Vin. a bit? Uh, it is not currently working at the moment. Um, if you want to take a moment to wind it, you can try. Yeah, I'll do that. You tinker with it for a bit. Because you are proficient, are you proficient with Tinker's Tools? I have Tinker's Tools. But you are not proficient with it, but you, go ahead and no, make I a Tinker's Tools check. I don't even have Tinker's Tools, I have Thieves' Tools. Oh, you do not have Tinker's Tools? No. Huh, okay, good to know. Uh, just make an intelligence check for me. Three. Uh, <laughs> you start messing with it Ooh, a bit. I do have Tinker's Tools, I do have them. Okay. Jesus. Okay. No, I don't. Add your proficiency bonus. You or are you proficient with Tinker's Tools, or you just have them? <laughs> no, I do, I'm do. i not proficient with them. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, because in here it says it's not <laughs> under tools, but over here in equipment, I do have okay. them. Come on, reverse Okay, because you have the Tinker's Tools, you do not break the watch, okay. but you do not get it functioning either. Got it. You, you fail to get it back to a state of uh, actually keeping time. Uh, that might be a job for you. For, uh, Jeff. You know, I was thinking about that, right? Yeah, that might be a right up your alley. Mending. Oh, okay. You cast mending on it. Uh, as you kind of release your your hand for a second, you see a faint kind of swirl of greenish blue energy kind of around it before dissipating. And as it does, you hear. Ooh, you fixed it. The springs, the gears. It is now a functional. Watch. The, in, the initials are still carved into it, right? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't change. And, that. and the doll? Is it a human doll? Is it a Planet of the Apes sort of human? It is humanoid, doll? but it is it is simple in its design. And you can't tell if it was intended to be a human, an elf, a dwarf, whatever. You know, it's it. But it appears to be human. Uh, appears to be female in the way that he has kind of uh, stringy yarn-like hair. Um, That's nice. There's a little mildewed on one leg, but Ew. you're not planning on keeping that, are you? Keeping what? The pocket watch. Uh, no, I think we should find out whoever has the initials B V here. Right, but we put it back, right? We're not going to steal like on our first day. I, think I have a feeling whoever this dangerous. belonged to doesn't remember that they ever had it. What if they do? They don't. For nobody remembers anything. She's right. She's we know. Right. I There's bet no they way. knew they had to give all of their precious items away, and somebody here put this stuff in a box and said, "I don't want to give this away." It was right. 
but what if what if they do remember? What if it's important to them? What if they do remember and they don't want to speak up for fear of I don't know retribution or being outed or something? We shouldn't take it. What if so someone hears the ticking sound that follows us yeah. everywhere? We know the initials. We can put it back. It'll be a nice treat to open the box and they find it's working. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty dusty, but sure. <laughs> Not put it back. The trunk. What is feeling honorable? Well, uh, what kind of what kind okay. of okay? Uh, what kind of wood is it made out of? Hmm. Uh, oh, the the box. The box. Is the box local, or was it, or was it from somewhere else? <laughs> Make a nature check. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna steal a pocket watch. At least yes. I okay, still have roll. this from my <laughs> dead parents. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll a slight hand for me. Fourteen. Twenty-six. <laughs> yeah. No one notices. Um, it. It feels like a like a darker cherry wood, which is not local to this space. All right, so this came here. This 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 didn't. This wasn't built here. This came here. And do we have any idea what the fancy clothes look like they came from? I mean, do you want to pull them out and kind of inspect? Yeah. Um, they're not they're not they're not Dundalian in nature. Uh, there are elements that. What? Did you figure it out? Maybe. What? Um, but I don't know what you should do. I don't need your face right now. But um, I'll text you. They they seem to be best you can tell. Somewhat I'm trying to see like where specifically. My brain's a little wandering at the moment. Um, Concord esque. Definitely coastal Swavane Island style, but it is upper class, which leads it to be one of the coastal cities uh, of the Clovis Concord. You're unable to really. You know, make a history check for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, 18 plus 12 is 30. 30. <laughs> Shit. I rolled an 18. Maybe. Okay. Um, it's not so much the style, more than you notice that there is a, uh, a a stitched engraving on the inside of one of the shirts. This this outfit was handcrafted by an extremely well-known crafter of finer silk clothing uh, in Port Zoon, along the Menagerie Coast. Where we just were, like, not too long ago? You haven't been to Port Zoon. Oh, we haven't. It's or like you, north of Port Tamale, right? Port Zoon? Uh, Port Zoon's uh, northwest of Nicodronus. Right. So, yes, it would be in that northwest. That like north of, yeah, yeah, it's north. We went up the coast. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, from, it's made, okay, so it's made, for, okay, Port <laughs> so, Zoon. So the, the, this clothing <laughs> source would have been along the Menagerie Coast, probably Port Zoon. Okay. Cool. I just texted you. This is me whispering. I'm just gonna say it. Say what it. Is, what is Vanderin's first name? Oh, yeah. Was that it? is his first name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. is his last name? Would you think I call him like Williams? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of people calling this guy Foster. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. I don't know if Vandrin has a last name. Maybe it was but Baby Vandrin. It's his, it's his baby. Big Vandrin. Big <laughs> Vandrin. He has a big Vandrin. Wait, but you you only know him by Vandrin then, so you don't really know if it's his first or last name. Bartholomew Vandrin. I guess that's true. Yeah, no, they, I only have Barry a... Vandrin. Keep going. Bobby Bob Bob Vandrin. Bobby, Bobby Vandrin. Bob Old BV. Oh. <laughs> Bo Vandrin. Yeah, Vandrin's so, the only name I ever heard. What is left? Mm. Hmm. So what else would you guys like to do? I think we should we put going all of this back <laughs> for now. Are we going walking? Didn't we like and see him on walk. an island? Yeah, and he was happy? Yeah. Uh -huh. But what, what if he was happy just because he was forgetting? What if he's here? Wait. Why are you shushing? Huh? Why are you shushing? Because the DM's trying to talk. Oh, oh, he is? Oh, is the DM trying to talk? No, the DM is asking what you guys want to do. <laughs> I want He's waiting I wanna... for us to stop dicking around. We should, we should choice. Well, we're on back and then head out for the here. Walk. Let's go for a walk. That's a yeah. long way away. But let's let's put put the put the candle back. You know, let's just put the put, put the trunk. The All right. Candle back. back. 
<laughs> takes a little bit, but managed to re replace the things that, or at least the chest. The chest, at the very least. The chest has been replaced. I mean, we know and where it is. And these fancy clothes are for one for a female and one for a male. Were they both for dude? Uh, or the, were they the, both for men? The or? styling. One of them appears to be very male and cut. The other one is kind of ambiguous. You're uncertain. All right. Okay. Maybe Vandrin got married. Had a wife. Maybe it's Bonnie Vandrin. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bonnie Bella Vandrin. Vandrin. I like Bonnie. I don't know. Let's let's walk around and see if we can meet somebody with a, a meet a BV somewhere in yeah. the. Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll look for it. a BV. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of BB, but. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> stinky one. So, in the hours before dinner is to happen, what do you guys need to accomplish in the village? Should we just wander about and take in what we can, we'll and locate landmarks? Everybody and their stuff? name. See if there's any community buildings, get a lay of the land, and then head in at some point to help mm -hmm. cook. Okay, okay. And I also want to just. Talk to the traveler while I'm walking. I know he's probably busy, and he's not going to come and say hi or anything. But just so you know, this place is really creepy. And I mean, it's not super creepy. There's like some weird stuff going on, and there's already another god here. So, um, but we're checking out some places called like Falls or Heaven Falls. Anyway, you should come talk to me because I just want to get your input. So come over whenever you get a chance. Okay. That's all. Um, as you're walking, one of the villagers kind of saddles up next to you, Jester, um, kind of walking alongside you with this kind of uh, intense, crimped red hair and green eyes, and just kind of follows in step next to you and goes, another god, you say? That's, uh, <laughs> that's all kinds of fun. Yeah, and it's like, I can't tell if it's actually a real god or like, is this really the traveler? No, it's not. Okay. You're being duped by one of the denizens of this weird village. I don't know. I don't know what this god here is like. It feels like somebody's watching us all the time. We I feel like he's around us in the Jester? mist. Huh? Do we see anyone next to Jester? No, you see Jester talking to herself right now. <laughs> Which is not that funny. Just, just let it happen. Let it happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the mountain, there's like. They say he's a god, and I think they sacrifice to him. Anyway, everybody that comes here forgets why they're here. Oh, and they well, we there. absolutely have to meet them. I know. <laughs> well, do you promise to introduce me? Of course, we're going. Good, let me know it. Okay. And he kind of breaks off, and you look back to the rest of the group and back, and he's gone. Um, the rest of the group is just standing, group watching her. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you said you're you're asking around people's names. Uh, yeah. It's not okay. Suspicious. I'm invisible for all. Of okay. Is there a specific, as opposed to us role playing, you asking fifty people what their names are individually? <laughs> is there a specific goal in mind for this? Make with the NPCs, <laughs> Matthew. I want to I'll know let me bring up babynames.com and I'll just run through them all for you. I can find a voice for each, but I figure for the sake of brevity. Can I look for someone that might embody uh, a member of the hunting party and ask them to describe what Terra looks like? To pretend that we're looking for them. Yeah, no worries. Um, <clears throat> you do actually. Heading back to where the bonfires are, you can see uh, both Pono and Jaina are in the process of taking the uh, the corpse of this displacer beast, and they are skinning it and they are preparing it uh, on what looks to be like a, like a, a large metal rod, as a, not like a spit to, to put through it, but to hang it from over the bonfire itself to be cooked. And there's a larger one to the left as well. It's being prepared, but as you guys approach, you can see uh, Pono's like. Oh, it's good to see all of you. I'm well, glad you're staying for dinner at the very least. I think this will be a good meal. I'm excited to see if we can uh, safely say we outdid the uh, five-person team. So what can we do for you? I was actually wondering, um, uh, we're looking forward to meeting the third of your tribunal, um, this Terra. What, what do they look like? Oh, Terra. Uh, wow. She's a, a mighty tall one, uh, not unlike your friend there a bit. Oh, did he? I, I was going to, okay. That's... No, we're just using her for reference. You're oh, yeah. that happens. A towering and intimidating lass, but uh, keen of eye, uh, sarcastic wit, and uh, right ready to throw down if anyone looks at her wrong. 
I, I gather. I wanted to thank you again for coming to our aid out in the, the wilderness. If you need anything from us, you, you have us at your back. Great, and he puts a, a large sharpened blade in your hand and goes, help me cut the flank off this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Ford's now helping them butcher the uh, displacer beast and prepare it for cooking. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Uh, I'm going to take a seat by uh, one of the bonfires and pull out uh, my spell book and uh, set it on the ground and thump, put one um, uh, globule of light floating just above it for light. And I pull out um, the wand that was gifted to me by Kaliana and mm -hmm. I just take it and jam it into the ground standing up. And I just start uh, taking notes and, and uh, spending some time okay. designing. You got it. All right. Any bells? I'm going to go into the kitchens and see if they need any help. So, okay. Uh, the kitchen is not so much an enclosed space, but not too far from where the bonfires are, kind of to the northwest area. There are some stone slabs that are set up where you can see they're taking various uh, gathered herbs. There are uh, clusters of kind of thick subterranean swamp root almost, which seems like it shouldn't grow naturally on an island with this sort of a biome, but nevertheless, here they have it, and you can see them in the process of cutting it up. And yeah, there, people are preparing uh, things to use in the cooking and the flavoring process of whatever the dinner is going to be. So as you arrive, uh, you can see there's uh, one uh, figure there is this very kind of squat, uh, muscular looking uh, humanoid woman in her 50s or so, uh, hair's thinning a bit, has a, uh, a really kind of intense smile, these very bright teeth that kind of looks towards you and goes, oh, I'm Enola, and you are a tall one. What's what's, oh. what's your plan? What are you doing? Oh, thank you. Uh, Caduceus Clay, I was uh, uh, trying to just be useful. I've, I'm, uh, I'm usually cooking for my friends anyway when we're on the road, and I figure... Uh, you can be useful. I'm happy That to you be can. Useful. Come here, come here. All right. And so she begins to give you the uh, the overview of their process of preparing these different uh, spices and salts and, and uh, additional vegetation to be brought along with the meat-based meal. This is all new to me, I assume, this stuff. Uh, some of it is. A lot of it is adjacent to other experience and knowledge you have. It's just kind of uh, through the filter of what's uh, scavengeable here on this island. Uh, what was her name again, by the way? Anola. Anola. Which you've heard before. Anola is the one that prepares the meals oh, yeah. primarily, so she's kind of like the head uh, Chef, if there, that's what you'd call it here in the middle of this. This is this, this, this is really really interesting. Uh, uh, like what, like what, what what would you call this? This is like these flavors are putting this together this way is really fascinating. We call it delicious. Yeah. Right, where did you learn to cook? <laughs> you know, I just always kind of knew how. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> it's called a knack. Calling it a knack. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, the rest of you? Never know. I'm going to um, sit down um, and offer my services out to any villagers that would like a portrait of themselves. Just um, drawings available. Caricature artist. Caricature <laughs> artist while Tattoo. dinners are being prepared. Chilies. Uh, uh -huh. Free tattoo. Immediately, <laughs> a crowd of about 10 oh, wow. people come rushing to you and two children that all excitedly get in, you know, really revved up to the idea of a portrait. And one by one, you start making the portraits. Are you giving them to them or just showing it to them? I'm going to give it to them. Okay. With each one you give, are you doing them really well? Are you doing them goofy? What's your intent? Um, I'm going to, big if head, I. Body. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's huh? got a big head, little big body. Head. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Caricature? Uh, some of them I'll do characters, and then some of them I'll do, like, if I like them, I'm going to do, like, a really nice, pretty, realistic drawing. Uh -huh. Okay. We, we, awesome. we haven't seen a, mean, a mirror here, have we? Uh, not I had that same thought that you've seen. No, I'm going to ask them their names as they come up <laughs> for the <laughs> portraits. Okay, you should ask if they have like a favorite hobby too, so you can like. Yes, if they I'm like, going like, to ask them dance, what they do. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, no. yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was a fan. With their little Definitely. Bodies. Yeah. I love humbling myself before Vakoto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan of that too. Um, <laughs> Kano's in the background. Yeah, a lot of fucking. It's just a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, you, you they give you their names. It's a fun little conversation. People, they all seem to be genuinely enthralled in asking you questions. All of them are like, they're here. The portrait's fun, and they're excited about it, but they're also just excited to talk to you. And a lot of them are asking, like, where are you from? What brought you here? It's a lot of just. Uh, general enthusiasm for having new blood in the village. I make sure a little drawing of a dick is on every single picture. Mm. Okay. 
and except for the kids. They get a heavy beam. They get a, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> they get the traveler. Oh, like okay. A little oh. tiny travel. You got also it. shaped like a dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wearing a cloak and a hood. But not so blatant, you know? And, <laughs> right. Um, That's so true. Right? I make sure every single person you know, like gets a, a blessing closer. upon them. All righty. Any, any BVs? Any BVs? Any BVs? Any BVs? No BVs, no. In fact, everyone's given us just a first name. There's no surnames. Hmm. Well, remember. but I'm going, to, uh, what's your last name, though? Just the name. The next person's like the same. Just, just, just a name. Any B names? Uh, in this group, no. <laughs> Our perfect plan is being foiled. <laughs> I mean, it was a good plan. Yeah, really good plan. I am enjoying the practice though on these drawings. Tiny box. Yasha, you should play some music for them. Well. I was going to see if I could go somewhere off to um, the side a little bit, somewhere in private, where I could make sure that the harp is tuned and warm up my fingers a little bit. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to go look for a BM. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough to be. Uh, you take the time, you, you tune it to the best of your ability with the, the experience you have practicing on your own time, uh, without direct tutelage, but more of just kind of figuring it out as you go. So you feel pretty warmed up as as you could imagine you could be for such a circumstance. Okay. All right. Not are you doing anything? I'm going to. I'm invisible. Well, you're invisible. Just wondering. I'm just kind of hanging around, Jester. Unless Bo does something more interesting, then I'll go with her. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, what are you doing? Uh, first, I go over and um, I try and punch the globule of light that Caleb breathes. because I've never done it. I've never like touched it. Is it like? Can I punch it? Does it go away? You can't. D12. You, yeah. This is the most stove cat moment I've ever. Making constitution saving throw. You know. Uh, no, no, you, oh, you you punch it and it it reacts faintly, like it shimmers a bit as your fist goes through, but it is a material. It's mm. it's like punching a, a, a light sunbeam, where your fist warms slightly while it's in the sunbeam, but you don't sense anything beyond just that slight change in temperature. <laughs> I take out one of those bottle rockets and I hold the wick in the in the globule. Does anything happen? No. That was that was interesting. That would have been cool. That would have been real cool. <laughs> Are you amusing yourself? Yeah. Yeah. A little bored. I think I'm gonna go give this to a kid. I'll be right back. Is there a kid? Uh, there are a number of kids around. Yeah. Okay. I want to. Oh, does uh, is there an approachable, inviting-looking kid? Because. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you see one uh, one kid probably uh, appears to be human, maybe no older than seven. Perfect. He's just kind of running by with a stick in one hand. His feet are muddy beneath the knees. There's a little bit of smear of dirt on the side of the face. Uh huh. <laughs> and runs by and just and runs by and sees you. Kind of looking at him and kind of stops and just kind of looks at you. Hey, I have a, a big stick too. Check mine out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to hold it? Yeah. You can I hold your stick? Sure. Okay, I'll trade you. Cool. Thanks. No, just... no, 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 no! Come here, come here, come here. What? <laughs> that's. I mean, that's mine. You can't take it. Okay. I can show you cool stuff with it, though. Like you, what? Do you know how to fight? Mm, yeah. Here, okay, give it back. I'll trade you back. Here's your stick. Yeah, there we go. And I do like a little twirl behind my, my back. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. He attempts it and immediately like breaks the stick and like hits Aww. his leg and is like, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. <sighs> what do you? What's your job on this island? Uh, I I take care of um, keeping the monsters away. Really? Yeah. 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 Awesome. You're like a guard. Or yeah. Control. Yeah. What's your name? Trees. How long have you? Uh, were you Tree? born here, Trees? Trees? Yeah. That's awesome. What? What is like the, the goal of your village? Do you know? Do you have like <laughs> a mission? What? Well, like, He's like, 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 he wipes the snot from under his like, nose. What's your social, economical <laughs> contribution. You're a kid. What's the purpose of life? <laughs> <laughs> he he, he kind of stares at you blankly a bit and goes, "I don't know. Fight, fight monsters and make make that thing happy." And he points to the mountain. What do you give to make that thing happy? Uh, I don't really give anything. My mom and dad make stuff to give. Oh, like what? Like they make carvings and yeah. and sculpt things. That's cool. Do you want to go ahead? 
Yeah. And I've, I've, I have a friend whose family all they all go down to the the big the big mouth to mine. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do, do how often do people not come back? Uh, not to like bring up a downer subject. I should. I should probably get going. Hey, you want to light this bottle rocket? You want to see it explode? You're going to offer him a lollipop too? Yeah. To in the van? Okay, here, come here. I need to light the bottle rocket. <laughs> and you see, like, four people all of a sudden turn around and go, ah! Ah! Oh no. The person yeah. goes, like, running for a bell. Oh, you don't have to. And they stop. It's cool. He's like, that's so cool. Do you have more of those? I do. Here. And I give him, like, six. <laughs> Just, hey, don't like do anything too bad with them and make sure that you don't, you're not holding them when they go off and don't point them at other children or your parents. But anybody else I can. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Totally, man. What's They're your great. name? I'm Bo. I was gonna try and think of something cool, but I'm Bo. Bo's pretty cool. You can Thanks. go with that. Thanks, Trees. Thanks. Uh, okay, bye. I never know how to end conversations with kids. <laughs> bye, Charles. Bye, and he okay. just runs off, <laughs> like staring at the bottle rocket, super excited. Give him a 12 pack of beer. Hey, Beth. Why? Beth, can you hear me? Yeah, yep. Do you want to go snoop around in the kitchen, see what they might have in the back? Sure, yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to go distract people. Let's Are you going to go fuck confused. with some more kids? <laughs> I mean, I could also do that. No, probably... no, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, yeah. yeah. And I go meet up with Caduceus. Okay. I was half expecting you to say your name was Jester. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, That's what watching. I should have done. I was waiting. <laughs> All right, you go to the kitchen. Things being prepared. You do see another hunting party arrive. Uh, this is a larger hunting party. Um, unlike the, the the dual team of Pono and Jaina, you see uh, five folks arriving, along with a, a figure that kind of resembles the description that you had received of Terra, um, who is a a, a fearbolg. Taller than Caduceus, um, female, very, uh, you know, long, lanky arms and legs, but very like muscular and, and taut, um, in a, a hide leather-based hunting outfit with a longbow strapped across the shoulder and the back. Um, uh, she ha she's older. She definitely like in the face. You can see there. There's a hardness and an age to it. Um, the fur across the body is like a blue-gray color. Um, shoulder length white hair like a mop that just kind of cuts off and tangles a bit towards there. Uh, pretty intense. But what catches your eye immediately after is what they're dragging in. Uh, you see brought to the other bonfire two large scaled beasts, uh, lizard like, but probably eight to nine feet from, from nose to tail. Um, you see elements of, of feather at certain edges of the limbs. You can see like clawed arms that kind of fall into one side, and large, uh, spindly, muscular legs that keep it in a, a jaw of teeth. Um, Have we ever it, seen any? You've never seen a creature like this. What the Sam Hill? Uh, am I? St I'm still butchering with Pono and Jaina, right? Yeah. What is that? They look up, and Jaina goes. Oh, fucking hell, really? And the hunting party kind of waves over and they go, Have we been outdone? <sighs> you could say that. It's fine, it's whatever. And they keep getting back to cutting. And what, what was the thing that they are bringing in? I don't even know what it's called. But... Oh. You don't know what it's called? No. Oh. The rest of the party. Who, who's with? Uh, <laughs> who's with Terra? <laughs> That's uh, Garanat and his crew. There's two other hunting parties that are out. I don't know if they're going to come back. Garanat? Garanat is is her right hand man. Uh, sons of bitches. They kind of grumble and go back to cutting. Ooh. Why do they care who gets the biggest? I think it's just some good natured competitiveness. Is it? I think so. <laughs> Strange beasts well, in these oh no. I feel like we're in one of those villages in a video game where you've run through every single uh, 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 
question tree. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. good luck on your mission going forward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Find the bathroom. Good luck on yeah. your mission. Yeah. I hear there's creatures on the edge yeah. of the wood. Thank you. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, can, I, can I see any of the other Mighty Nine where I'm butchering and I can see this? Yeah, you can see uh, Caduceus and Beauregard that are currently in the process of preparing the non uh, meat elements of tonight's meal. Uh, Caduceus, Bo, yeah. per, will you join me in greeting uh, Terra and the rest of the hunting party? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right Later. back. Unless you're doing something important, Bo? No. I mean, this, yeah, but, you know, fine. Okay. Fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was no. dozing off there for a second. No, no, come, do you want to come here and stay? Yeah, I'll come with you. Okay, yeah, okay, sure. okay, okay, oh, that's okay. weird. No. I didn't know Beth was here. <laughs> um, hello. Hello. <laughs> You see as they're now taking one of these creatures and tying its arms and legs upside down, kind of crossed over this large bar, similar to the one that they were kind of briefly putting the displacer beast on before they started butchering it. And uh, the the woman turns around and looks at your crew. Wow, that, that's uh, crazy. I, what do you call that? This here is uh, one of the many dangerous beasts, long lost beasts on the north side of the island. I, I gotta learn just not to do that. Yeah, it's amazing. Make sure looking up the actual pronunciation for it here. Is the. Uh, Deinonychus is what it's known as. Deinonychus. Some pieces. Ooh! Have a noun. Yep. Uh, I, I wanted to introduce wow. ourselves. I know we may seem like uh, strange. Faces, we were actually um, saved in the forest by uh, Pono and Jaina. We heard Pono. there were some new arrivals. I assume that's you all, Art. That's us. Uh, we're just uh, a few of us, at least. Well, welcome to Vol. Happy to have you. Very impressive. Thank you. Uh, Caduceus Clay. Caduceus, you are. Bo. Bo. I'm Ford. Ford. I am Terra. What are you good at? Well, nobody speak all at the same time. I mean, I think you can just say, I don't know. It seems to be the normal, well, normal answer to everything. Well, technically, here. we're good at, at fighting and killing people, but that kind of feels like maybe something you shouldn't lead with. We're good at killing people. I can't really Just people? No, I don't know. Like, bad things that need to be killed, so like monsters. We're fair beasts. hunters. Yeah. I have some skill yeah. with sailing on the open waters. Uh, Caduceus is actually a very talented uh, cook. Cook. Healer. Yeah, yeah, that too. Good. Make good. an excellent tea. We could use more muscle on the hunting teams. That's good to know. Oh, uh, we actually just stopped for a visit. We're not actually planning on joining the, the community. We were actually just done a great favor by some of your hunting party. All right. We don't plan to be staying very long. Understood. Yeah. Well, if that changes, let me know. We could always use some more hands out. Of course. Uh, well, it sounds like we'll be staying for dinner. We wanted to introduce ourselves. You'll meet the rest of our party later. Um, we're at your service. Good. We'll talk at dinner. I'll go back to chopping. Thanks for your hospitality. And she just kind of walks back over towards where they're stringing up the beasts and helping her team out. Oh, she's hey, hard. She's tough. She's tough. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, kind of like yeah, yeah, worn yeah. leather. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. uh -huh. She's, in, so, you know, she's, I like her. It's a rough whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go cut up this displacer. Yeah, I'm gonna go make sure stuff isn't poisoned. Have you ever seen a Deinonychus before? No, that feels like Paleolithic, like a different time. What, what did like, you say? Like, um, you know, before the Earth, before Exandria yeah. was like Exandria. Like a history or okay. nature check, your choice. <laughs> Almost like the land before time? Time, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. A history check? And the time before land. Natural 20. Ooh. Oh, give me that, give me that, give Where me that. has this been yeah. for like the last three years? I don't know. Um, so 32. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are a very studied individual in eclectic things. Uh, in the Cobalt Soul, you had less interest in modern day politics, more interest in books about weird Things uh -huh. that had drawings and pictures. That's why I took deep speech. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but during this time, you came across uh, myths and stories about beasts very similar to the ones that you saw strung up here. Things that were said to exist during the time of the Titans, 
things that were largely wiped out, except for supposedly in some far reaches of Exandria, might still exist of all manner of size and demeanor. Um, most people seem to say that, that elements of them might reside still within the Shattered Teeth, but few you know, have uh, been able to provide proof. And uh, this, this is your first time you've ever seen something very similar to what you studied firsthand. Oh. Yeah, they're like uh, like boogeymen, like big fish stories. Like you're not entirely sure if they even exist. You know. That's not helpful at all. I mean, this shit is ancient. Whatever that thing is, that's all I'm saying. Oh, you mean as if it's not supposed to exist anymore? Yeah, kinda. But it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pre-calamity. Oh yeah, very pre-calamity. Way pre-calamity time, like way. We gotta, we gotta get like up to a, the like north a lost side. Creature. Hi, Ford. I'm here so, too. Oh, oh, I know. I can see. Yeah, you. I can see invisibility. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Still. Um, couldn't catch you well for an hour. Uh, it's past by now. Fuck. Well then, <laughs> well then, I'm no longer invisible either. <laughs> well, you can keep it up if you had more spell slots, but I do. We gotta go to the north side. Yeah, we gotta oh. go to the north side. North side, bro. That's where it's at, Rip Curl. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go north shore. North shore. First thing so, in the morning. What's the plan? Are you guys anything else you want to go accomplish, to or do you want to move go on to dinner? dinner? I think we're just waiting for dinner. Anything though. suspicious about this food at all? Is it? Does it? What you mean while you're in the kitchen? Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm watching to see if like there's any spices being added, added to anything. If there. What's the health inspector like, grade? There on There seems to be like one ingredient that's in everything, like you know, like like way too much nutmeg on on everything. <laughs> sure. Right. Like Make cool. a perception check. That's a thing. That's yeah, cocked. The stinking rose. Uh, bad for me, but you know, uh, seventeen. I mean, beyond the fact that a lot of the, a lot of the, <clears throat> the flavor concoctions that are being produced here, a lot of the the crushed minerals that have been recovered and mingled here are kind of high in sodium. Beyond that, nothing that catches your attention is monsters. Dubious. Just monsters. <laughs> <laughs> so much salt. All right. Um, <clears throat> eventually, the sun does begin to set. The uh, coloration of the sky takes its characteristic oranges and purple hues. The temperature still, you know, not as warm as you'd expect for the location and temperate region that the island is amongst the Slovain Islands. Um, the mist remains on the outskirts of the city. Doesn't seem to swell or get any larger or more dense with the temperature dropping. It just kind of exists. Um, but people begin to gather as the bonfires ignite, as the actual meals begin to cook, the creatures are set up to be charred and prepared, and the large bonfire itself, just a beacon, the center of the social space here at the end of the day, is lit. The heat is immense, even from this distance, but people gather around, and you can watch as people grab stools and stumps and whatever sort of sitting arrangement they have. Uh, they bring their own plates, which are uh, a, a weird mix of old china that looks chipped or broken in places to uh, just wooden plates that have been carved from whatever they could find locally to uh, thick fronds they go ahead and place food on. But everyone eventually comes through and starts gathering meals and finding a place to sit, everything kind of looking in the direction of this bonfire. And there at the very south part of the bonfire, you can see there are seven stools set up in a semicircle and three large chairs facing the north side of it, their backs to the bonfire. You guys are instructed to go ahead and gather whatever you wish from the, the veritable smorgasbord of food that has been prepared for you um, with the aid of Caduceus and Beauregard, as much as you wanted to aid. I, Mostly Caduceus. I like threw in some salt. I was that person. You monster. You think that's that. Salt. that. <laughs> it needed it was already, more salt. It was already just, just so much. Full cinnamon? They're using yeah. seawater to boil everything. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but. Instant puckered lips. Yeah. Eat, like, why there are no old people, they're just all just drying up. <laughs> but eventually you're led to your seats there at the base, uh, that small circle of stools. The trio eventually come and sit as well as Lukash, Viridian, and Terra all meet you with their respective meals. Sit down and nod. Uh, Viridian takes the first bit of the conversation. Thank you all 
for joining us, and it is a pleasure to have you among us for the time that we do. Um, I'm sure you have questions, and we have questions as well. So, as we eat, let us share what we need of each other, what we hope to learn from each other. When can we meet a, a Vokodo? As soon as you need. <laughs> uh, we could leave tomorrow if you'd like. I could guide you to the, the mountain entrance and introduce you. I think perhaps we uh, should explore a bit more beforehand to get a better yeah. sense of the island, or? Well, perhaps we should please the caretaker of the island first. I mean, what if he, he doesn't want us to have it here and then, you know? Right, we should. Better, know, better to know that now. Exactly. So we can go find another island. Yeah. Let's do it. So first. Tomorrow then. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go All see right. him. Yes, we don't have any. Uh, we would. We should bring a gift. Sure. Yeah. Does like, Vocado tell you what you need when you get there, or does are you supposed to just guess up when? Uh, we gather amongst the village crafts and. Uh, acquired materials, minerals, anything that we find is of, of precious origin, whether it be personal or just a, a treasure in its own social right. We gather, and I bring it with myself to meet with uh, Bokoro and provide it to him within his lair. We, pro we probably Does he want like stuff? everything valuable that we have, or is just it like a couple of stuff? things? Valuable stuff. You carry many valuable things, but that is up to you to give, not me. Okay. Maybe if we each gave one one item, that would be nice. Could do you think we could do that? We can look at what we have. Sure. What about right now? I mean, I, you know. I don't want to go through my my bag like right now. You don't want to empty out your purse on the floor. You know. Sure. And yeah, maybe we'll just see what happens when we're there, right? It's not like we would need anything extra beyond what we have on ourselves. How often do you bring so. these tithes to Vokoto? Well, I generally make a trip to the mountains interior about once every week or two. Uh, I was a few days out from my regular journey, but at your uh, necessary intent to meet, I will move my timeline up a bit. We will gather early in the morning and collect, and then we will be on our way. Have you ever <clears throat> missed a visit? Are there repercussions if you do not bring a gift? I have not missed a visit since I've been to the island. Some gifts have been larger than others, and as any individual that requires uh, a showing of faith, frustration can be felt, but Vokodo is a, uh, a kind and understanding god who merely wishes us to improve upon that we may have failed to provide. And how is his frustrations manifested? By lessening the protections in the village for a time. Right. Huh. So you'll maybe randomly get swarmed by beasts, and it's like, uh-oh, Wakoto's having a bad week. Uh, Possibly. Mm. But I am well-versed in bending this surrounding space to my will. Is, is that possibly what happened to the ruins? The ruins. I know not when the ruins arrived or where they once came from, but they don't feel like anything we've constructed in previous generations. Oh my god, we gotta get the fuck over there. <laughs> oh, I wanna see. Should we go there first? I mean, we could just wait till it's the normal trip, not not ruin the rhythm of what seems to be a well, it takes a clockwork couple, system here. I mean, it takes I, I a couple like days to get over there, right? We should check in with like the you have, desk you have, and explore. You have eight days from today, uh -huh. so roughly a little over seven days until Traveler Con. So, so and it takes how many days? Vokodo, 
keep going north. Go to the ruins. Yeah, great. We'll go, let's like stop by Vokodo on the way. That's assuming that anything happens after we meet Vokodo. It's gonna go great. We're charming. Jester's a, ho- a holy person. Yeah, when we have a gold on our side. We're yeah. gonna give great gifts. I've got a diamond that I'm willing to part with. Uh, you can see like immediately the three of them lean in and go like, a diamond? It's not, you know, it's just, a, it, yeah, I have a diamond. You, you shouldn't part with your diamond. Yeah, you should keep that. That's, we kind of we need kind the of need diamond. diamond. Kind of said it out loud. There are such loud. gems that we bring from within the island itself, and such diamonds are lauded and uh, sought after by Vokodo, but diamonds from beyond, those in particular draw his interest. You would be great. quick to gain his okay, favor. The diamond, it's no, a, we it's a the 50 point. gold diamond, it can't do anything. Oh, okay. <clears throat> do you usually make the trip alone when you go, or do you uh, go in a group? I do because it's safest. I have means of traversing independently that uh, are much safer than bringing others with me. Can you go through the canopies with your vines? I have other means. Can you go below the ground with your vines? How do you do it? How did you make that rhyme? We'll, we'll see tomorrow. My connection with nature allows me the capabilities of calling upon its protection and powers in the vicinity, but I also have learned how to become such creatures that call nature its home. Did you learn that when you came here, or were you like that already? Uh, it's just something I always knew how to do. <laughs> any memory-based question. <laughs> hmm. Can you go no. through trees? I can. <laughs> Understand, I know the memory lapses are challenging, but those of us of the Voth, we were chosen by Vokodo to come here these false pasts were stripped away from us and allowed us to find our true purpose in this island. So, as confusing as it may be, and occasionally frustrating, it is for the best. Have you ever seen any precious gemstones or jewels that resemble something like this? And I'll use minor image to conjure an image of the cloven crystal, the, the eye. Yeah, they kind of look over it. Not in particular, no, but it is a beautiful example. Have you ever heard of Ukutoa? Ukutoa. Ukutoa. Uh, they all kind of think for a, a moment. <laughs> 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 uh, like showing a horse a card. Kind of, yeah. I don't suppose the Taldore Council rings a bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you know, this pretty and goes. Tore and trails off. Mm. In a far distance, you hear. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no. They're running low. <laughs> <laughs> well then, fine. We'll set out in the morning to the the volcano. And is, can we just wear this? You don't have to like dress in cloaks or robes or anything. No, no, no. Bring bring yourselves as you are. And we shouldn't like. Like these bracers are very expensive and very dope, and I'm very attached to them. Should I like hide them? He's not going to see them and be like, "I want that." Like Vokodo does not take things from you; hmm. he accepts what's given. Okay, but if he sees this and then he sees what I'm giving him, <laughs> is he going to be like, mm, "That's a little weak compared to like what's going on here," and I'm going to judge you for that? Is he going to be like that? I don't know. I have not encountered such a circumstance okay. before. I'm not too worried about that. I, I feel like if this is what I how this works is eventually. I love these bracers. No, no, he I, probably I has already seen the bracers, Bo. Huh? He's probably already. Yeah, he's a seen god. The Hello. And do you have gemstones all over your bracers? Well, they're very intricate and like very well crafted. I don't know about that, but no, I don't think he'll be interested. I think they're very well crafted. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I was just curious. What do you want to ask us? So by what fates have you been brought here? Beyond, you've said you were chased by some dragon turtle type creature. And you come here to uh, to hold an event for your god, this traveler, you say. Mm-hmm. 
What sort of yeah. event are you looking for? Well, it's like, um, have you ever heard of like a convention? <laughs> <laughs> you know what people like of similar interests get together and they're like, hey, let's talk, let's hang out, let's get to know each other. Oh, yeah, that that is what Vo is. And Tara's like, exactly. That's so very, basically, yes. you're having VoCon, and I want to host TravelerCon. Temporarily, Lukash goes. And uh, how many how many individuals are you expecting? See, that's a really good question, because I can't remember. I think the island is affecting me. <laughs> but um, you know. I have no no clue, honestly. Uh, but it could be, it's a manageable number. It's a manageable number, and you know what? It's probably even less because of all of the travel that's involved and the turtle dragon and all that stuff, so. Destination convention, mm. challenging to get to. Exactly, it's like, you know, who really wants to be there? Who can make it? And then we'll find out. Well, uh, unless there are any uh, arguments here amongst the other two at the council, now that we're all present, um, once we have the approval of Vokodo, uh, I do not see why we wouldn't be able to aid you and accept uh, these travelers of the traveler, if you will, yeah. and uh, the, into Vo itself to celebrate. Everybody that worships the traveler is like super helpful. They really just want to come in and not cause any trouble and just help as much as possible. <laughs> Roll a deception check. <laughs> 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 Just had to fucking pour it off. <laughs> Mine. Mine. <laughs> you can see like Lukash kind of nods, Tara kind of sitting there, arms crossed, is like. At the very least, we're very helpful yeah. and are always happy to help clean up. And Viridian's kind of looking at you with the. The very least. Interesting. Well, um, in the event that Vokodo does not see such a union as fit, do not take offense. Uh, I'm sure there are other places of which to hold such an event. Sure, like Heaven's Falls. Or the ruins. I cannot vouch for those as being safe locations for such an event. The Heaven Falls uh, protects the Ocean entrance to the interior of Okoto's lair. Oh! Uh, and is not meant to be passed by any mortal soul. Oh! Is is it? So heaven, heaven's falls is like an uh, a water passage into the center of of the volcano. Oh! Or is it like a molten lava? Or a waterfall? Bridge. You watch as. Uh, uh, she kind of like twirls her finger, and Viridian kind of mutters beneath her breath, and you see in the dirt these small flower stems begin to kind of grow together to form this mountain, like a small version from a cusp. That's cool. And then as she spins her finger again, this wind begins to blow around it to create this pattern that looks like a little water around the island. She goes, on the side of the island where the inlet makes its way to the rock's heart. And as she kind of brings her finger upward, you can see the sand begins to flow upward up the mountain. That is where the waterfall lies. Not down, but up. The water cascades towards the sky before curling into the mountain itself. Oh, what? Cool. So and, but we're, I feel we're like I need not, to see that. We're not allowed to go there? Because I really want to see that. You are welcome to go see it, but to traverse the falls is forbidden. Oh. What if That's this place fair. really, what if this place really is the center of the world? It could be. And I mean, I believe the... you, obviously, but what if it really is? <laughs> That's on the <laughs> northwestern like side of the island? Northeastern side. Northeastern side. could just stay. I believe you said that, yeah. Good. You did say that, I just wrote it down wrong. The ruin I cannot vouch for. We don't go there. <laughs> The northern side of the island is uh, mostly un, untraveled, dangerous. Uh, the Ghost. scattering of worlds that create this island tend to be a bit more volatile. Would you say it's haunted, these ruins? 
ghosts, spirits, are they cries of the... Oh, there are spirits throughout the island, oh, but up right. there is all manner of strange other beasts. No, oh, fuck, we gotta go, man. Must go. Must go. Must go to run. Damn it. Any dangerous plants to, to look out for? Numerous, but I'll be guiding you guys to the mountains, so oh. I'll be able to warn you of any sort of known dangers ahead. Speaking of ghosts, what nope. do you all nope. do with your dead? Nope. When, I think there's like a, a, a solemn moment where they all kind of look at each other. Those that are lost to us are given rights under Okoto himself, and much like the flames that give birth to fertile land and to allow new forests to grow upon those that were old, they are interred to ash as the god would have decreed. Okay, standard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing weird about that. No, it's fine. You know what would be weird? Is if they put them in the ground and then they made tea out of them. That would be so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing weird about that. It's a little strange. Do you want some? He's got dead people tea. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I quite enjoy it. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Look, Ash, like. Actually, I'll kind of try some if you make it. All right, hold on. The adventurous. Yeah. Terry goes, Lukash, it's like, what? Well, I'm curious. It's got a little kick. This is, this is good. Yeah. That'll wake you up. Ah. Uh, yeah. There's the dead person. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a trailing aftertaste. Interesting. Had a lot to say. <laughs> um, the meal is delicious. Um, Especially given the the somewhat seemingly basic lifestyle that is kept here, uh, it is vibrant in its flavors. Are there any other elements to the conversation you want to ask about or inquire? How do how does the uh, feeling that we're being watched feel? Worse, less? Uh, as basic? you guys have this conversation, and you kind of take a moment to think to that thought, you kind of feel the hairs in the back of your neck stand up a little bit, and you. Can't help yourself, but looking over your shoulder back toward the side of the bonfire, there's nothing there. But it hasn't lessened. I don't like. I don't like this. <laughs> it's great. Running eyes of the grave great, again. Great, great play. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the divine no sense as well. Same time. Same time. Okay, divine sense. Both of you focus that same kind of creeping, sourceless presence somewhere, somewhere. But neither of your extended sense are able to grasp at anything. Does Caleb have the same sense as well? Is which one? Does Caleb feel the oh, exact same Caleb. thing the others do? Uh, yes. Okay. We all. We all. You all do. The like every one of you individually. You not, haven't really discussed it out loud, but all of you have this kind of weird presence that you can't shake. Do you guys like, feel like something's watching you? Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like this is a conversation for once we're in the bubble. Yeah, I'm going to pull out my my sketchbook, and I'm going to write on the page, who the hell is watching us? <laughs> question mark, question mark, trying to talk to the traveler. Got gotcha. you. <clears throat> also, uh, Caleb had, does not eat any of the food. I slip one of the beads of nourishment to myself at some point and pretend okay. to drink a few times. You got it. Okay. I tried to do that, but then as I smelled the food, I gave in and ate the food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is very tasty. True to life. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. And yeah, start we want tomorrow. to get, get yeah. going in the morning yeah. early. Yeah. I'm going to take out um, my harp and play oh, yeah, for a little yeah, bit yeah. by the fire. All right. Just yeah. oh, is everyone everyone say as soon as I see her pull out the harp, I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to go up and put my hand on her shoulder and say, I can't wait to hear this. I've been practicing, so I think, um, yeah, hopefully it will sound okay, but, you know, have dessert and have some tea and talk and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cast Enhance Abilities on you. Say again. I'm not going to tell her I'm casting Enhance right. Abilities, but I'm going to cast Enhance Abilities oh. um, for oh. uh, Charisma. Okay. okay. And as a thank you for this lovely meal, we'd like to introduce Yasha Wait. to perform <laughs> a lovely after meal Woo! song. Yeah. Okay. Get it. 
Applause begins to climb as everyone around there, and now the full village oh, no. in presence oh. here, which mostly people come to sit since you had come down beforehand. You look around you, and there's close to 100 people all sitting and all looking directly in your direction, and they all just start clapping. It becomes this, this rousing applause, uh, all focused on you. Oh, well, um, Woo. I'm, I'm still learning, um, but... Um, Free bird! Oh. Start playing. Okay. Something. Go, go and make performance check for me. With advantage. With advantage? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Caleb casts major Yikes. image and silent lightning starts to go <laughs> behind her. Okay, okay. Um, um, what does enhance ability do? It gives you advantage. It gives advantage. you advantage on that, yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, so that would be performance. I get a minus two. <laughs> 17. Hey! Oh, nice. That's pretty good. Not bad. So, as you begin to pluck, the first couple kind of come off at a strange, discordant row, and you kind of shake your head a bit in frustration and concentrate. Take a deep breath, and then continue once more. I want to play something sort of. Um, uh, a little sad, but um, also just beautiful and light and a nice after dinner. Uh, just something nice and light. Okay. But a little sad. Yeah. It's not. It's not terribly intricate, but it is still beautiful, haunting. Uh, but beautiful, uh, as it the song begins to flow through, uh, everyone's mood begins to shift. It falls quiet. You can't can hear a single person breathe as everyone's kind of leaning forward. Yasha, as she begins to get into the, the sense of the song, storytelling through the harp itself, her eyes begin to close, and that's when the silent lightning begins to arc behind her, causing these little flashes of blue backlighting across her shoulders and her hair and the sides of the harp. You watch as the, the, the flames of the bonfire uh, almost seem to die down slightly as uh, you watch it, Viridian. I'm bringing them down. Yeah, Viridian's doing the same, actually, as well. Mm -hmm. um, the bonfire flames begin to fade a bit as now the central focus is Yasha's performance. With each pluck resonating and echoing and growing louder, the movements become more fluid, and for a, a woman who is so known amongst you for the uh, volumetric rage and forceful brutality, there is a, an unexpected grace to the movements, the gentle shifting of the wrist, the swaying with each progressive pull, and as the eyes are still closed and the lightning is still flashing, uh, you see Yasha in, in a, a vulnerable light you've not really seen before. In a healing light. As the song comes to a close, and the what some people would call the spirit that takes over, whatever it is that muse within you that brought this song through in this moment, this very briefly stressful moment. You can't believe you did that. As the lightning fades. Um, I put it in my bag and I walk straight back to the tree. <laughs> Yasha just runs away from the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> your, your friend is very talented. Yes, she is. Mm. She is. Mm. Yeah, we we knew we knew that. I mean, we've seen that like a hundred <laughs> times by now. Well, it it is it is a a, a joyous change of pace. Uh, music is not something we get too often in this island. Uh, Why not? No no musicians amongst you. We do, but they're terrible. <laughs> Well, anyway. glad to brighten your evening. Very much so. Cash goes, well, I'm closing out for the evening. I'm a bit full and I'm getting the sleepies. <laughs> um, have a good night, folks. 
And he stands up and makes his way off. Terra quietly just stands without a word and just gives a nod and leaves. Uh, Rudin says, make sure to get some rest. We have quite a, a trek tomorrow. And not the safest one either, so be at your best. See you in the morning. Until then. What time are we leaving? Well, if you can, shortly after sunrise would be preferable. Mm. Tight, 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 tight. Certainly. Ugh. <laughs> I'll see you then. And Viridian stands up and makes her way off. The crowd's now starting to disperse a bit. People are starting to leave to their abodes here in the village of O. That's uh, Yasha played really good. That was good. that was that was amazing. Yasha's still gone, by the way. <laughs> let's uh, let's get somewhere safe. Well, are we gonna stay in uh, the the D- Doran's house? But I just say, uh, put the bubble around it. Say, mm-hmm. Is I, that I wanna, possible? I want to mm-hmm. talk if that's all right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you guys we'll all head back, back to the uh, the hollowed out tr- tree. Yeah, mm-hmm. I will throw up the dome inside of it, the same color as the tree wood around it, and okay. I will have Frumpkin sit up high and stay awake the entire okay. night and watch. Everyone's heading back. Anyone I'm going to send a Yasha? message to Yasha because I don't know where she went. Okay. Yasha, you played so good. We're all heading back to the tree house. Um, come back. You poopy. <laughs> <laughs> Yasha, come back. <laughs> I'm, I'm already uh, here in the tree house. So. Oh. Oh. Well, I didn't either way. I'll see you guys in just a moment. <laughs> you hear that just as you're opening the door. She's like right there talking to you. It's that weird moment where you're both on the phone, but you both went to the same room. Is that like a delay? Yep. Like in my head, and then also yeah. like from coming towards the door. And I've never done that before. I've yeah, never done cool. that before. Hard to, hard to get a ley line out here. It's all very. Yeah, yeah it's too real. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so we're safe. Well, yeah, he's, he's yeah, made the, the door is closed. Mm-hmm. We'll say you complete the ritual to form the dome, which mm-hmm. encompasses the majority of the interior of the floor here. You know, the tree itself is pretty thick. You only have maybe about a fifteen, you know, a little over fifteen foot uh, diameter in this interior space. So the uh, the dome fills most of it. You you have a diamond that you're going to offer tomorrow. It's just a small diamond. It's like a stud. It's, it's a, a big diamond. Stud. It's a 50 it gold diamond. Yeah. I mean, we have like platinum and gold and I stuff. I don't give a platinum. I don't care about this stupid gold <laughs> anyway. Well, yeah, but we got to give give him something worthy enough to get permission for your convention. I mean, don't you want that? Well, yeah, but like I'm just going to like the traveler's going to come. He's going to talk to avocado and then he's going to be like Hey man, I'm a god. You're a god. Yeah, Let's but shouldn't we get on the right foot? I feel like if we just give a little bit of something nice up front, it could go a long way. What if avocado really is a god, though, and the traveler's like, ooh? I don't. <laughs> well, if he is a god, I don't know that he or they would appreciate you calling them avocado. But <laughs> uh, maybe we should just, you know, be a good representative for the traveler. And then let the traveler do his, you know, thing. If you want to be a good representative for the traveler, Ford. Do I? Yeah. Is that what you want? Is is that what you want us to be? <laughs> An ambassador, and one would say. Also, if you know, uh, Avocado is a real god, yeah. then maybe uh, he won't be threatened by the traveler. You know, because he shouldn't be. Right? Yeah. Well, he should be because the Traveler is still pretty amazing and very powerful, so. Well, but you know, you, you hope someone is like secure in themselves for our benefit, right? Well, you know. I mean, I, and do if we really want a god fight? We don't want a god fight. Hey, well, Yasha. Of only one fight. of them is a god, right? Yeah. Because maybe. You're. Well, what? No. Me. I'd. What well, if. What if they're both not real gods? Then they're definitely gonna fight. Oh man! What if they just get along? What if they're like, "Hey, man"? Yeah, we are putting the cart before the horse. True. We just figure out what we are dealing with before we even bring the traveler into it. Why don't you guys ask the wild mother how she feels about the traveler? <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I can't do it right now, but I've I've never gotten the sense that it was a particular problem. Yeah. I mean. I mean, you know, you, you, you know you're, you've kind of got a weird little cult going, and, and that's okay. I, 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 
to, to be fair, I'm I'm in a weird little cult. I mean, it's it's there's nothing unusual or wrong about that. It's you know, all it got is really is a cult with a franchise. So, I mean, sorry, I got a little, but. Uh, but you know what? To, to that point, you know what? What isn't a, a cult if you're following? I'm not helping. <laughs> I mean, speaking of cults, this shit is creepy. You know where right? we are now. This shit is weird. There's a Can bunch we of weird, weird? We, a bunch of weird stuff going on. The memory we, thing. Is it now that we're in the bubble? Do we? Do we? Are we still getting the like? There's something watching vibe. Oh, make a perception check. Okay. Oh. Let's plan all along, man. Uh, 19. As they're all having this conversation, you kind of withdraw and then focus in the surroundings, and yeah. Oh. Kind of that still kind of sinking feeling in your chest, that, that sense that something is Point here. To have this has been since we got here. Serious since we got off the beach. Hey, look at my sketchbook. Does, has the traveler written anything back to me? Like a Ouija board? No, not, not in the. I'm going to hold my pen right above. Oh, okay. <laughs> that would be probably more the, the category of a commune spell or something to that I, 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 I will cast, cast Mage spell. Hand and start moving. <laughs> 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 do, a, do a sleight of hand check for me. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 17. 17. Passive procession. Yeah, no, uh, you, what do you What do you draw in Jester's notebook? What did she ask earlier in the book? You don't know oh, what you I You don't know. Okay, so do I'll just write. Uh, uh, <laughs> and you're not, you're like drawing with another hand. And you I'm can't drawing, see. and you're a lefty. Oh, God, it's going to be awful. <laughs> <laughs> with my right hand holding, holding your left hand, I will, um, I will write, go on and kiss him tomorrow, Jester. Ford is ready for you. <laughs> you writing all of that? Well, like I'm abbreviating off the some of it. <laughs> it looks like a two-year-old wrote it. Yeah. It's the other hand. Block <laughs> you. Did you ask, yeah. did you ask Man. what is watching us? Yes. <laughs> You're getting distracted, traveler. <laughs> I don't. Um. I'm going to. I'm going to spend ten minutes in cast commune. Okay. Does anyone have an empty uh, empty uh, uh, slot for their for their equipment slot? <laughs> You're welcome. It's all for you. <laughs> Anybody have an equipment slot they need filled? There you are. Yeah, I do. I have an empty slot. What do you need? Yeah. Uh, you need some place I, to put your stuff. <laughs> so just I have a thing that you might, if you want to. I have a thing I'm not using that I was. <laughs> <laughs> You're not using. Why anything? do I even? Why do I even talk to Lorvin? Uh, <laughs> I feel you, man. <laughs> yes. Somebody has to set the I'm bar. I'm sorry. Against the new hair color, the red is. How much of your brain is just <laughs> euphemism? Like, like just. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you have? <laughs> so much. Um, I have a. Um, Tomato. I have a charm of plant, uh, charm of plant command uh, um, uh, necklace, uh, or it's like a on a thread that will give you three times a day. Uh, it will uh, let you not only speak with a plant and have them understand it, but you, they'll talk to you too and <gasps> get an advantage on charisma checks to influence their behavior, demeanor, and attitude. Yes, I want that. That sounds amazing. All right, so I'm I'm gonna since I'm not using it anyway. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, throw you uh, so that you can attune to it tonight. So. Uh, Beautiful. So I'm going to. How what do I? What does it look like, Cadiz? It is a fist-sized charm that is made from a bundle of dried plant stems wrapped in silver thread, Ooh. hung on a leather thong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a leather thong. Hung on a leather thong. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, it is typically worn around the neck or attached to a belt. Or over your junk. Yeah. Or <laughs> across the junk. In your slot. <laughs> to make it a more, uh, a more pleasant. It's yeah. good to be Careful. back. Careful. It's like a thatch cup, Careful. essentially. Oh my god. Oh my god, uh, that's amazing. Okay. So uh, if you look up Charm of Plant Command. Okay. I'm removing mine, it's gone. I'm going to add that in a second and after I, I do my Yeah, do your, do, do your thing and then. And catch up my shit. So you, after acquiring your charm of plant command, you <laughs> excitedly take a moment to concentrate and reach out your thoughts towards the traveler. 
eventually, uh, as everyone else is talking, their voices get a little muffled, that kind of, you know, almost Peanuts adult. <laughs> and you just hear the voice over your shoulder once more. You rang. <sighs> what the hell is watching us? You, you know the community there. You generally, yeah, you know I know. <laughs> <laughs> is it Vokodo that's watching us? From what I can gather, it's quite an observant creature everywhere on the island. Is he actually a god? Sure. Mm, not feeling a god type presence mm-hmm. from the island. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think the people here are being influenced by him to stay? <laughs> you see, like, out of the corner of your eye, the, the, the traveler's kind of like waiting for the <laughs> standing goes, ah. Oh. Um. <laughs> I'd say there's certainly some sort of strange influence, mm. and um, they're certainly staying. Yeah. I have so many other questions. Well. Smoke <laughs> 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 bomb. Jester, did, did, did the Traveler confirm what he wrote before? Oh, I forgot to ask him about it in my three questions. Mm. But Must be true. How did you know what he wrote before? Uh, I was invisible and I saw over your shoulder. You were not invisible, you were sitting I right. was super yeah. invisible. You didn't see me over there. I can do that sometimes. What did he write? We can't know. Huh? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs> well, night, night all. I, 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 before we go to sleep, I propose a quick ritual that we should adopt while we're on the island before we go to sleep and when we wake up. Uh, my name is Caduceus Clay. I am from the Savalier Wood in the Blooming Grove. My father's name is Cornelius. My mother's name is Constance. I'd say just say your name, where you're from, and one thing about your past. Ooh, that's good. Just for now. You go, Bo. Uh, my name is Beauregard Lionette. I'm from Camorda. <laughs> my father's name was Thoreau. And I have a little brother named TJ. Right. My name is Ford. I'm from Port de Mali. I never knew my parents, but my former captain was Vandrin. My name is Jester Lavor. My mom is the Ruby of the Sea. <laughs> and um my dad sweats a lot. <laughs> Uh, my name is Caleb Widogast. I was not born with the name Caleb Widogast. My parents are Una and Leofric. My name is Veth Bernato, and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> and uh, my husband's name is Yessa, my son's name is Luke, and I'm from Felderwin. And your parents' names? Well, I mean. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's good because I remember. Um, you remember my parents' names? Yes. Oh, um, I, I, knew, I know, no, I know it. It's Travis and Laura. No. No, it's <laughs> Travis and Ashley. That is your dad's name. It was but, Travis and Ashley? But Laura works too. <laughs> Laura <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> it's Travis and Ashley, is that what I said yeah. Yeah. when I made that shit up? Okay. <laughs> Uh, my name is Yasha Naidoran. Um, I am from the southern wastes of Jorhas, uh, and I don't, I didn't, I don't know who my parents are. So, but your wife? Uh, yes, I was married to a, a woman named Zuala. I assume it'll just be like a roll check, but yeah. Yeah. See you all. Nice. Hey, also, guess what? Um, the Traveler basically confirmed that Vokodo is not actually a god. 
Really? Got nothing to worry about then. Okay. I mean, that almost makes me go. more nervous. Yeah, yeah. Could be it. We'll give him some stuff, then we'll go hiking and find some dinosaurs. Okay, but did he did he give any indication on this like uh, creepy feeling, like just kind of like? Uh, he like, said he uh, thinks it's the, the the thing, whatever it is. He thinks it's the thing that it's avocado. Yeah. Too much avocado. Avocado is watching us at all time. Yeah. Maybe we should, since he can see us all the time. Maybe we should call him guacamole instead. Or something, just so oh, he yeah, doesn't, he doesn't know what's so. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kokomo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good old guac. Jamaica. Ooh, Key Largo, Montego. Alrighty. Has anyone noticed? Like, okay, sorry. I know we all went to bed. I know we all went to bed. You're going to bed. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll think about this. No, I'm no, no, what? Bit. I'm going to write a little bit. I just need to. Th- I need to. I need to think. I need to think. I'm going to just journal. I'm going to journal. Okay. See if I'm going to. I'll talk. We'll talk. See if I need. See if I need. See if I need. Oh, I missed this. As you all gently find yourselves succumbing to a night's rest to the sound of a, a soft, distant scat. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Caleb takes a while to go to sleep and watches the others not off and listens to Bo quietly scatting in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and just sort of twirls that, that same wand from Kaliana and just like watches the group, like taps the wand on his forehead lightly as he watches and listens. Okay. And eventually goes to sleep. Okay. They get ASMR. <laughs> Wait, do it, do the. Oh, yeah, we can hear it. It's good stuff. <laughs> Jester lets out a little toot as she's after she goes to sleep. <laughs> Just a teeny one. That was cute. <laughs> a little tiefling toot. Yeah. All righty. Sleep takes you all. Night's rest is had. Long rest. And as the morning comes and consciousness finally calls you back to the world of the waking, we're gonna go to break. Ah, yeah. Whoa. Because we went. No, we haven't on. done that yet. No, we haven't had a break yet. Talking about you don't have to yeah. pee like crazy. No, I have to pee like. I have to pee. <laughs> well, <laughs> journal some more. Like Indeed, crazy. it's all good. Well, we don't have any announcements uh, or any giveaways from the break, so we're just gonna go straight to break. We'll see you guys here shortly. Hey, critters! Laura Bailey here. Let's see what's up in the Critical Role shop. It's perfect for the home or the office or your bathroom. Ooh, look at this. Look at the details. Ooh. Darling, I recommend buying two. One for you and another for you. Let's be honest. It's so cute. I can't handle it. This is this is a lot of stuff, you guys. We have like so many cool things right now. All of this and more. Now available in the Critical Role shop. We have a new stray cat that's been coming in our place that uh, cat's so you refer to as Cleo. Yeah, you've, you've, you've met, met Cleo. Cleo. She's best. She's so cute. <laughs> but you know what's not cute and cuddly? What? Cats the movie. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not judging Cats as a musical. Okay, that's fair. It just wasn't for me. Have you seen Starlight Express? No, I have not. It's actually. cats but trains. And they fuck. Well. You're welcome. We're not talking about trains. No, we're talking we're about, about cats. Cats. <laughs> cats. <laughs> And the Cats movie may have been an actual nightmare I'm still hoping I wake up from, but Laser Kittens is a delight. It is a collaborative storytelling game for three to five players where you play as new arrivals to the Knoll Street School for Wayward Kittens. Yeah, you get to play as friggin' kittens. You go on adventures, learn important lessons, avoid the horrors of the vacuum cleaner, and learn to control your laser, which is the chaotic power that all kittens secretly have, or not so secretly. Have you ever left a cat alone in your house? Your house is destroyed. Its cuteness is inescapable. It's like an event horizon, but full of kittens. Hold on, oh and I just gotta make a quick note. All right, new amazing idea. Remake Event Horizon, but adorable. I'm on board. Great, you're on board? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna sell you a copy. 
The game's authors, Stenter Danielson and Cheyenne Grimes, were working at the Western Pennsylvania Humane Society when they came up with the idea. It's a perfect RPG for kids and adults alike. The rules are simple. You play with a deck of poker cards in lieu of dice, and the only goals are to tell crazy kitten stories and find a forever home for your little kitty character. Laser Kittens is available for download now at playglittercats.blogspot.com. That's a mouthful. And you can buy the paperback on Indie Press Revolution. So if you were like a laser kitten, what power would you have? I would have the power that all cats have, whether or not they're laser-based, which is to sleep all the time. Oh, man. I need that. Could you imagine? And almost no consequences for all the shit they break and knock over. They could eat whatever they want poop on the floor, knock over your expensive vase, and at the end of the day, they get head scratches. I still have friends that do that. I'm concerned about your friends who are pooping on the floor. I'm concerned too. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, or don't subscribe. Hmm. That's not a question. Well, it is nobler in the mind to ponder the pros and more pros of Twitch or Twitch Prime. Or to take hands and gift new subs to critters who find they can't afford them. To play. To sleep. No more. And by a sleep to say the cast and crew of Critical Role might find their naps around the hectic schedule of a live broadcast that we have brought for your consumption, both critter and fan alike. To play or sleep. No sleep, but just to stream. Aye, there's the rub. For with your subscription, what streams may come. Oh man, oh man, oh man, that is a fucking tagline. Is, do we got that? Oh, that is Twitch poetry. Mm. Oh, anyway, um, subscribe to Critical Role. Use Twitch Prime to subscribe. Gift some subscriptions. You, you got it. Wrong soliloquy for the skull, but uh, that's fucking good.
And welcome back. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mighty Nine. I'm so happy. After a night's rest, the morning comes, you awaken refreshed. I need you all to roll an investigation check for me, please. Oh, what? In the we bubble? Rolled, but we rolled you so well what? before. I know. Yeah. He, I think investigation? He's, I think yes, he's please. like hiding this check that's going to make us forget shit. Okay. Ooh. 21. Okay. Which is really good for me. Ooh, not as good. Four. Four, okay. 24. All right. 18. Okay. Eight. Okay. Ooh. 10. Okay. 19. All right. Uh, Caduceus, Yasha, Jester. Uh, pick an item in your inventory. Oh, no. I knew it! Those fucks are just gonna steal shit. No, they can't. They can't come in the bubble. No one can come in the bubble unless they're burrowing them up, burrowing oh, no. up from below. Or it's the god thing. Or, mm -hmm. or they're I like compelling you to give it to them. Yeah. Well, anything? What do we pick? Pick an object in your inventory. Just something that you have. Just anything. Anything. You can like pick. a bedroll. Yeah. Yeah. A ball bearing. A, do you have like a a screw? <laughs> you can't. Box. You can't choose like a single ball bearing. Of a, it would be your ball bearing. You got a troll dick like, there. Just you want to get box. Ooh. <laughs> Tinderbox. Oh, I have a blanket. I'm, I'm going to get rid of my blanket. I'll have a really blanket. Well, you don't know what it, what's happening to it. I'm just saying. So yeah. Tinderbox. Yeah. A blanket. a blanket. Okay. Jester. I have a bottle of hair oil. <laughs> okay. Oh, from the crazy ass yeah. shop? Mm hmm. Yeah, that thing's nasty. Okay. So you all wake up, and you all gather your things, and your morning has begun. What do you want to do? We want to, of course, go find uh, Viridian. <clears throat> uh, memory memory check first thing in the morning. We don't obviously want to go around, just does it. Oh, work? yeah. Bar girl in it. Yeah. Hey, Bar. Uh, yeah, hey. Yeah. Cut to the top of the name. Well, Sam, up. participate. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> it's happening. It's already happening. Uh, it's just, I just can't remember what we were doing today. <laughs> we all recite the memory thing. We're doing that again? Yeah, because we not, not, you just Not really. It's just checking to make sure you're Checking fine. to make sure it works. Yeah, and none, none of you have any okay. you know, memory lapsed issues. Um, Should we make our way out to try and find her? Mm -hmm. the, Yasha, the uh, the blanket that you generally kind of keep is just one element of comfort amongst the harsh interiors. Uh, you don't know where it is. You can't find it. What? I had a. What's your, the matter? Is your whoopee gone? My whoopee? Wow. Yeah. What's my whoopee? You know your your bunky, your binky, your blanky. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, it's gone. <laughs> And I'm British. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember how I used to speak. <laughs> this island. Where am I? <laughs> this weird shit to you. Mm. Um, you can look for it if you want to make a perception check. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's go. Let's, <clears throat> you see, is it here? What color was it? It's just black. Is it this one? Black blanket. No. Is it this one? That's mine. 19. Oh, that was... 19. Uh, you take a little bit of time in, in the house and you end up finding it tucked under one of the beds. Oh. You just lost track of it. Oh. It's weird. Okay. What the Maybe fuck? you moved in the middle of your sleep. You Out know? of the bubble? Hmm, yeah. What the? Sometimes yeah, you, walk your, you, you walk into your sleepwalker. We need to stay you get up called to storms and things. But I, wouldn't you have been alerted if I walked out of the bubble? Uh, no. Uh, just no one can come in except for all of you. Um, I ask, I don't say anything, but I ask Frumpkin if anyone was monkeying about in here in the night. Roll a perception check for Frumpkin. Okay. Uh, 19. 19. Whoa. Best of Frumpkin's knowledge, there wasn't any sort of movement or anything strange what untoward. The fuck? And did uh, any of the nine leave the bubble at nighttime? No. Okay. Can I, um, as I get my blanket from under the bed, can I search under the bed? Yeah, you look under it. It's, it's fairly empty. It's a, a large bit of dust, some dirt. You do find like a, looks to be like a large dead beetle. It's been dead for a while. I'll eat it. Okay. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, waste not, want not, right? Mm -hmm. But that's about it. Nothing. 
<laughs> Nothing beyond that. <laughs> That's amazing. That's Jester. fucking weird. You this know what? Like some you were, traveler were so shit. overcome by the majesty of your performance that you just did some weird things last night. <clears throat> it was a really fantastic performance. Well, thank you. I don't feel like I, 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 I feel like that doesn't usually happen that well. So that was kind of nice. I don't know why that happened. It was beautiful. But I was just. You're feeling... just really talented, mm. Yasha. Yeah, well, you're you're growing into it. Yeah, well, I'm practicing. That's for sure. You know. Trying to get better at it, at least. Mm -hmm. I guess practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you take her blanket? Did I take her blanket? Yeah. Were you doing hiking? Why would I have taken her blanket? Well, you are Trixie. It's a blanket. That's boring. That's yeah. a boring trick. <laughs> let's go. Yeah, let's go see what how this creature is. Okay. For fuck's sake. Do you, ch people choose some shit to give to this guy, all right? I don't want to get there and hem and haw. I've got a couple yeah, of gold go. rings. I've got a few Great. things. Uh, okay, same, okay. Mm. I still might take off my bracers and like, mm. no, I don't want to take off my bracers. I'll give him gold rings. Great. Um, no. I don't Do know. you think he wants his pearl necklace too? Well, don't see, just see how much he wants. Why okay. are you going to give him? This island freaks me out, I'm overthinking it, I'm sorry. He's just a he's just a dude pretending to be a god. Let's just figure this out. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> no. <clears throat> All right. Mm. All right. We'll go meet our guide. Easy enough to do. As you guys exit the village, uh, it's it's early enough. It's maybe thirty minutes past the sunrise. Not everyone's awake. Some people are kind of beginning their day a little like bleary-eyed and. You know, moving materials from one part of the village to the other, gathering some things, starting to poke around the remnants of the bonfires from the night before to prep it for whenever the next uh, large fire might be. Um, but there, kind of not far from the exterior of where you stay the night, you do find Viridian waiting with a little pack on her over her shoulder that's made of uh, like vines and some heavy leaves all kind of woven together. I just uh, whisper to everybody else, from here on out, we should refer to Vokodo as guacamole, just because we don't want to, like, you know, mm -hmm. piss off her. Mm -hmm. right. I'm not sure that's, that's, right, that's a better right. thing. Not huh? to offend anybody. Okay, right, right, just yeah, yeah, guacamole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While we're gone, do you think we should ask one of the villagers to maybe run down to the beach and get some of our stuff for us? No, 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 okay. <laughs> On we go. They're dead. I wonder right. if we should check in. We can do it while we walk. All right. This way, then. You have everything you need. Is it just the uh, our party and you? Anyone else? Yes. Wonderful. The more folk, the least useful it is to have such a large party. Of course. Uh, honestly, this is even more than would be easier. I would normally just fly straight there, but. Fly! That's what you do, you fly. Yes. But. Whatever. <clears throat> onward. And with that, Viridian leads you out on the northwestern side of the village, breaking the outer tree line into the dense jungle itself. Now, you guys push in for a short time before you begin to realize the jungle itself beginning to grow darker, even more dense. The smells of the vegetation and humid air shifting to an even colder, almost metallic scent. Unnatural. Like a like a wet iron type smell to the air. Um, no more than probably an hour into this journey or so, Viridian like puts a hand up for a bit and points and goes, "Those vines there, the ones with the somewhat ruddy texture towards the bottom points, and you see them across the multiple types of vine tangles around there uh, and large branches that are kind of reaching and jamming and intertwining with each other. You see some vines of a thinner variety that, as opposed to winding around, they dangle straight, almost like curtains, but they kind of turn reddish as they get closer and closer to the tip. She kind of points them out. Just avoid those. Like, keep a distance. They are carnivorous. And as you glance up, you can see there's a lot of the moss, the thick, dark moss that grows up in these parts of the trees. Uh, on these vines, the moss 
looks less like moss, and you now get to see it as it looks like strips of decaying flesh. <gasps> and occasionally, in some of these knots and tangles, you can see like a bone protruding or remnants of some sort of uh, decaying creature's remnants. Wow. Uh, dude, use the same word twice in the same phrase. Um, <laughs> improvisation. But the mist itself seems to be taking on this kind of iron-like taste as you continue to push forward. Does it feel like the bloody remains are contributing to that irony taste, or does that feel separate? There's similarities in that taste, but it's not blood. You know the taste of blood very well. You've uh, tasted a lot of your own in the past, um, but it's different. This is a, a sharper and more more unnatural scent. Does the, the presence, the watching, does it feel stronger? It feels unchanged. Okay. Um, as you begin to continue, you can see the moisture in the surrounding mist growing thicker. The tree trunks themselves are now growing slick with the liquid in the air. You can see drops of condensed moisture falling from branches and overhead areas. It is not a rainy day, but occasionally you, there is enough moisture falling from the boughs above that it feels almost like a gentle drizzle. Um, you can see now, as the ground begins to roll with the terrain, there are little pools beginning to form, dark pools of liquid. Um, at this point, Verdine once again kind of places a hand up into the air to keep you all obeying. Goes, now some of these pools contain just liquid, but there are some creatures that reside beneath them and exude a sticky substance to attempt to trap you. Try your best to avoid touching the pools of liquid. Understood? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what I wasn't listening? Don't touch the pools of liquid. Where? There are On the floor. All of these around us, the there's uh, some things living. Maybe around. listen a little better. I was, I'm sorry, I was just really checking out my awesome charm is all. It's okay. Understood. You watch as Viridian's body kind of contorts into a small spiral before there is a shift of greenish brown energy and suddenly wings <laughs> come out and where once there's Viridian, there is now an owl that <gasps> goes and lands on an upper branch to watch all of you. And it's just kind of keeping an eye. Oh. Well, that's convenient. <clears throat> Are we supposed to keep, keep going? I believe in the direction that she flew. You might imagine so. All right. So you guys yeah. begin. Uh, first off, what is the marching order, if you don't mind? Nobody. Who's, who's good in the out of doors? The outer door. I'm, I'm always good to go up front somewhere. Right. I'll go right behind. Keep the per perception right. high. Matthew, Caduceus and Beauregard up front. Who's back? I'll go behind Bo. I'll go behind Ford. I'll, I'll go. take the caboose. Yeah, the caboose. Just Ice the man will be the caboose. All right. Vanilla ice. Danger zone. So I'll have Caleb and Veth right in front of Yasha before the batter? Sure. Okay, it doesn't have to be single file, so I'm kind of doing this like yeah. two, 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 one. Now you guys all begin to carefully, nimbly as you can, follow the path of the roots and the base of trees to avoid any of the slushy, earthy ground or the water pits themselves. Um, and there's quite a bit of this, and you can watch as you continue, these pools get larger and eventually begin to completely envelop and fill the spaces between the trees, these troughs where the roots themselves create the outer crown or the rim before the pool itself forms, and it is black, brackish, and in some cases almost like a slick, oily surface. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, before, this was, is, is, before we enter into this, I would love to cast a spell sure. before we all enter. Um, I'm going to cast, if that's all right. Where are we? I um, uh, saw you around here somewhere. Um, what that sound? <laughs> a cool sound. <laughs> what was it? I don't know what it was, but it was really cool. You? It, so you it's 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 <laughs> I had it. Hold on. I'm just playing with, did you do that with your mouth? Oh. Yeah, it was Oh, cool. <laughs> 
What are you guessing? Apparently, I, apparently I got rid of it. I didn't think I did, but uh, well, well, never mind then. Okay. Never mind. Dexterity right. saving throws. Yes, from everybody, as you're all just independently traversing the space. Nineteen. Nineteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Jester. Uh, sixteen. Beth. Twenty-four. Seventeen. Yes. All right. Deuces. Four. To sleeping. Okay. Tw- <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> Sorry. Failed. <laughs> Looking at the wrong. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Oh. All of you managed to, for the most part, keep it <laughs> pretty problem. solid going through. Caduceus, at one point, you do step up onto one ridge of a route, and it's a bit slicker than you expect with the momentum that you're pushing forward on. And as you do, you kind of catch yourself, but your foot can't help but sploosh beneath the surface. Roll a d6 for me. Shit. Six. Six. Your foot breaks the surface. Oh, for God's sake. Uh-oh. And will not withdraw. Uh, can I uh, try to, you're, wait, where are you? No, you're in the front. Yeah, he's in the front. Uh, got a problem. <clears throat> Immediately, it begins to pull you under. I'm getting late. pulled, please help. What? Help. Can we, can we grab a hold of him and try to pull? Uh, one of you can, we have to try and make a strength saving throw to pull yourself out. If you're helping, uh, you can give him an advantage on the I check. will help him. Or, uh, or you can both roll independently. Up to you. Uh, my will, strength sucks. I'm so. going to roll individually. Okay, go for it. This is a save or just a check? A check. Oh, that was real bad. <laughs> What'd you roll? Five. Five. Uh, I rolled a four. Okay. You, you grab, but Caduceus, whatever energy is now pulling him, his stronger and stronger force, and you feel Caduceus, your sec, your other leg now, trying to keep yourself up, gets pulled in, no. and you're now slowly being sucked in past your knee. I cast control water. Yeah. Okay. Uh. This is not water. Is there any water in it? There, it is a liquid, but it is not running or clear water. This is a thick, tar-like substance. So I would say it would not have, it would have a, at most a very minor effect. What are you attempting to do? Uh, like part water. Roll a wisdom check for me. Just roll d20, add your wisdom modifier. Okay. Hmm. 18? 18, okay. I will say, the liquid begins to kind of pull apart slightly, but it's too thick for you to free Caduceus. Um, you are still finding yourself drawn in, and you guys are watching. It's kind of draining. Like the actual like surface is draining downward. Can I run up and try to grab him? You will in a moment. Okay. Because the immediate action, the the first attempt on this to, for him to escape has already transpired. Okay. As it's funneling in and it separates, you now see the source of this, as there is a large. Kind of multi mandibled mouth Ooh. embedded in the ground beneath this that apparently may have been the source of this thick, tarry excretion. Oh. And you watch oh. its teeth oh. kind of clutching oh. upward, like independently moving mandibles, oh. Oh. trying to pull Caduceus' legs into its mouth, which, Caduceus, you do suffer 19 points oh. of piercing damage as, it's, as you're now beginning to be pulled into its mouth. Okay. It's a like a, like a swamp ant lion, just kind of <laughs> pulling him in. It's horribly painful, and you're now up to your like upper thighs. What? Let me know when I have mouth. an action. Uh, you do now, and Yasha, you can run up and help. Too. I cast okay. Spirit Guardians. Okay. <laughs> uh, what what form of of guardians? Oh, arrive? it's it's the uh, um, it's my standard. It's my uh, the beetles. Uh, the beetles. Yeah, the beetles. Okay. We As you like, back. earning pulled in, you suddenly pull your hands up and release the divine energy, the Wild Mother's guidance, and swirling above you. And from that, this humming mass of angry, uh, divine beetles begin to swarm and bite down towards this creature. They're plunging into this liquid, unscathed by it due to their divine nature and immaterial. Uh, Yasha, you rush up. Uh, based on the, the parting of this, which revealed the creature, I'll say uh, you'll get advantage on attempting to break him free. So make okay. a strength check for me okay. with advantage. Come on, Yashi. With advantage. Anyone, yeah. With advantage, okay. Anyone want to assist in any way, please? She's, she's cocked. She's Yasha, she's got it. Yeah, okay. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, as it begins to yank him 
into the maw by about the waist. You rush forward and grab both of his arms, kind of slung over the shoulder, and then run the opposite direction, yanking. You feel the teeth tearing across the outside of your armor, but you pull your legs free, and with one giant heave, you both slap onto the large root there at the base of the tree, free of any of the nearby liquid, though the lower half of Caduceus itself is just oh, this is real icky gross. black slimed. Oh, this okay, is real gross. Okay. Did that thing did suffer a little bit of damage, though. It did, and as as it swirls, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 11 points of radiant damage. Okay. As the uh, the damage hits it, you watch the the beetles swarm in and actually shoot into the side of its open mouth. As they peer into the interior of the creature, you watch its mandibles kind of <laughs> begin to roil in pain before it begins to <laughs> vomit up this tar-like substance. <laughs> it begins to bubble, bubble and fill until eventually that little pool now returns oh. to its oh, surface like level before you fell in. Okay, so we definitely don't want to. I don't like that. Oh. No, nope. don't touch the lava. <laughs> uh -uh. If we if we had like walk on water, would would that work on this shit it's not or water. would it? I know, but it's liquid, isn't it? It's not walk on liquid though. You don't know. Want me to want me to try? No, no, no. You do have a ring that allows you to do that if you want to try. <clears throat> oh. Don't do no. Don't you do that? I won't try. Sure. I'm okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Raised eyebrows means no. <laughs> sure. Press on. Because <laughs> uh, walk on water says walk across any liquid surface. No. Oh. That includes mud and things of the like. Can I? Uh, I might. I might ask ten minutes before we before we move on just to just to get my bearings. If that's okay. Sure. Uh, take I'm, a breather. I'm just gonna take a breather. I'm just gonna quickly heal myself. Um, uh, casting healing self on myself. I don't get the bonus from the from the. It's only when I take a short rest that I get the bonus from the necklace, right? For which one? For the uh, <clears throat> um, uh, wound closure. I believe, oh, how's it specified? Uh, hit die, um, whenever you roll hit die to regain hit points, double the number of hit points. Of Correct, yeah, that's only for when you're taking a short rest to use your, okay. hit, your hit dice to heal up. But you can do that if you want to, but. Uh, short rest is an awful long time. It's about an hour, yeah. Yeah, I'll just take the 10 minutes and take the heal, but lose, lose the spell. Okay, uh, what are you casting? Um, where'd it go? Sorry, my, everything's uh, all over the place. Um, uh, prayer of healing. Oh wait, not prayer. What's what's the one that's the other ten minute one? Sorry. Uh, 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 but, uh, why am I having issues finding this? Sorry. <laughs> I'm curious. To, I think prayer of healing is like the, is the ten minute heal that you have for everybody, though. Correct. I don't think you have a ten minute self heal, do you? I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Um, okay, I'll just do. That's a, been a few months. We're still getting. I know. I'm trying to remember how all this works. It's all good. Uh, I'll do. Uh, um, where to go? Uh, cure wounds is the cure wounds. Base as soon one. as I can find it. Uh, there we are. All right. Uh, I'll do. Yeah, cure, cure wounds at level two is what I'll do. You didn't prepare. So. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. So we don't actually. This is just six seconds. We don't need ten minutes. Okay. So go ahead and heal yourself up. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you kind oh. of gather yourself. The owl 14, 15, 15. lands in the branch right above and kind of. All right. Yeah, All right. we're yeah. just yeah. giving us it. a moment. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this that is. That was terrible. crazy. Caleb uh, uses his transmitter's ability, and I get my little free polymorph, and I turn into a giant owl and join our guide on the right. branch. <laughs> up under yeah, the branch. Yeah, you know, I was actually owl. gonna. Yeah, I'm super down for a hike. Into jungle jungle tracks, but is there a way we could speed this up? Could we? Mm, don't know if between the two of us if we could carry everyone. <laughs> As a giant owl, we can carry like two good. people each, probably. As a giant owl, that's I think that's what we did before. I'm pretty sure. One in each claw. Yeah, I'd say so. Is Viridian uh, a giant owl or just like a regular? Just an owl. owl. You're gonna have one, one, one odd person out. Um, Correct. Hey, yeah, you can uh, carry at most two people of standard size as a giant owl. Yeah. Okay. Viridian, do you have like a a bigger owl variety, kind of like what he's doing? Can you do that too? You know, so we can like just the owl kind of like. 
the head kind of rotates back and forth as a no. Let's hoof it. This is a beautiful place. Yeah. I'm excited. Just avoid the pools. I, I start well, walking. Yeah. I'll join Ford up at the top, the All front. Right. The greens are in charge. Yeah. Oh, wait, now, I'm not green anymore. Now at the front? No. <laughs> <laughs> You'll always be green to me. All right, and we have uh, Caleb as an owl. Okay, I'm going to, um, well, it only last 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my charge on my thingy. Okay. My charm, charm of plant command. And I'm going to talk yeah. to the plants. All right. And I'm going to say, Hey, you trees. Can you guys, you know, like, move some branches to make it easier for us to not step in this tar stuff? That'd be really great. We're just trying to get over there. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. But it's a, it's a command. It's just you can um, plants. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think you, you, you can charm the, the, like, you have to still ask, like. Oh, I do? But you have advantage. Okay. And they can talk back. Okay. Can they be sassy? Depends on what you roll. <laughs> what am I rolling? Persuasion, Persuasion? Yeah. with advantage? You're trying to convince the local trees to <laughs> yeah. passage. Trees. The local trees. With advantage? <laughs> or, yes. Okay. Hey, local trees. <laughs> Guidance. Can I do that? No, I can't, because I'm already casting another spell. Yeah. Fuck. Guidance. <laughs> Like your yarmulke guy. Next time I'll give you Fifteen? Fifteen. Okay. The the trees, the ones that are local to you. The local ones. Uh in the immediate presence go. If you talk to your local tree today. Uh, it's good to know your local not, tree. Not much I can do as a tree, but I'll try. <laughs> and one of the ones next to it goes like, yeah, I'll, I'll help out. Yeah, it says the spell doesn't enable plants to uproot themselves and move about, but they can freely move branches, yep. tendrils, and stuff. Yeah. So some of the branches that are about 10 or so feet above you begin to shift a bit to open up. To help us, like, maybe we can grab onto them and make it easier to walk? To, to, do you want to try and climb up through the trees? Well, no, like to, so we can hold on to the lower branches, and like that way we can like have something to hold. Okay, on yeah. To All right, yeah. So some of the branches, I would say, will come down a bit, an angle in a direction that'll give you more of a handhold. Yeah. Cool. So cool. Um, nice. As Keyleth, I don't think I ever had a conversation with plants that successful. They were <laughs> fucking dicks to me. <laughs> All the way through. Sun tree. Sun, cool. Sun tree was fine. Cool. Sun, tree. Sun tree was the best. All the other ones were like, I'm um, a plant. I don't. Well, no, you, you completely averted an entire encounter with That's true. plant-based monsters by telling it to just go away, and it went okay. Well, that was a good moment. It's a <laughs> memory. Um, the downside the island, is I don't know, man. Uh, you have a lot of forest to traverse. I know. And you only really conversed with the trees in that vicinity. Um, what? So, so what I'll do is because you guys, for the next leg of this journey, you all have to make another dexterity saving throw. Right. Shit. Um, I'll say because of your aid, I'm adjusting the DC accordingly. Okay. <clears throat> Advantage. So we should roll. We should roll right now. Yeah. So everyone should roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. Fifteen. Oh, come on. Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> it is this? You got big feet. Six. Six. Yeah. Again. Yasha? 22. 22. 11. 11, wow. Do great. I skip this as an owl? Great. Yes, you don't have to wear it as an owl. 15. 15, okay. Ford? Six. Six. Ooh, doctor. Ooh. Okay, I need both Ford and Caduceus Ooh. to roll a d6 for me. Okay. <sighs> don't roll a six. Four. Okay. Three. Three. Ford. Mm-hmm. As you're all making your way through, holding onto the branches for a bit, the branches eventually give way, and you're having to do a little more of like the walk, 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 leap, catch, land on the other root, put, move alongside the, the the tree trunk itself a bit, move along this root, see where there's a little bit of earth here, there's on a heavy pull here, skirt that edge, and then leap this pull across to this root, and you go and jump onto one of the roots and the root crumbles beneath your weight. And as it does, you fall down, and to catch yourself instinctively, your front foot spoosh right into one of these ponds. Uh-oh. And you like pull the foot out. That's just water. 
Oh. oh. There's brackish water. Okay. A little water logged in that boot, but beyond that, the pool's just kind of poof, You can now see the ripples from the impact. Oh, that could have been way worse. Yes. Uh, uh, oh! <laughs> as you say that, the girl. Uh, Caduceus is currently kind of tightrope walking along one of the edges of one of the roots before he just kind of, this fucker, <laughs> what? just ah. slips into the tar, and this is a second familiar space where all of a sudden you <laughs> slip in once more. Jeez. No. And you're stuck. <laughs> I immediately class, uh, God damn it, I'm going to cast Bless on myself, Bless <laughs> on you, and who else is next to me? Uh, I you would be it's yeah. Bo, Jester, <laughs> Veth, and they're all yeah. And and bless on Jester. <laughs> Help! It's again. That's going to just be like. <laughs> oh no! I tried to reach out and grab him. <laughs> okay. Uh, God. Uh, all right. So you're both trying to get to him. Help! It's again. Do I get, do I get my initial pull out one more time? Uh, you, you do. Okay. Yeah. Twenty twenty. Let's say that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Help! It's again. Twenty twenty. Okay. Uh, it's a deck save or no? It's a strength. Strength check. Strength check. Shirt. Fifteen. Help! It's again. You just okay, gave so up. No, no bonus for me. Yeah. Ah. No. Oh, yeah, Jester, as you're pulling and pulling. He's Come still on. being dragged down into the muck beneath. It. You do not, you did not part the water, the, the water here, so you do not know what's beneath there visually, but you know what's beneath there. And you watch as Caduceus, the pain begins to set in as the crushing and biting Ow. against the head. Hello, McFarland. Start, uh, start working on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a save. You, you take, ele <laughs> take 11 points of piercing damage. Oh no. As you are being pulled into the snake creature's mouth. Can we try that? You can go ahead and try again. <laughs> okay, so, okay. So now Yasha and Jester, you can both make checks in, okay. instead of Caduceus making his own check. <sighs> since you're both now Seven. two. Of. Sorry, 18. 18? Mine's less than my first time. Okay. Uh, between the two of you, Yasha mainly being the savior in this point, but between the two of you, you each grab an arm and uh, yank Caduceus out a second time. You don't, you don't quite fall as deep into uh, the, this one quagmire, uh, but the frustration's definitely filled in. I'm not built for this. <laughs> not built for this. Well, that's the other foot gone. <laughs> this, is, this is the first time I've been in nature and gone, this is gross. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! This is just, it's in my boots. Oh no. It's in my boots. It's just in my boots and I can smell it. Nope. How much damage did you take, Caduceus? I am 12 points of damage down. I don't know if I have any healing spells prepared. Of course not. <laughs> I'm. Oh wait. I have healing word. <laughs> that I mean. Oh, I'm going to cast healing word on him. Oh my okay. gosh. <laughs> Get better. Okay. <laughs> Help! It's again yeah. the mylar balloon of spells. <laughs> Eight points. Thank you. Hey, that's hey, really that's good. Really hey, good. look at that. I'm over. I'm triple digits again. That's all I really want. <laughs> <laughs> My boots are disgusting. Triple digits. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Live that dream. <laughs> maybe, um, hey, maybe Caleb? Maybe you should just pick up Caduceus. You can carry at least. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I would have I would have commented on you know some humility issues here, but that's gone now after the second one. <laughs> yeah. Just don't want that to happen. Yeah, Caleb is starting to pull him up. Yeah, can Caduceus just kind of stands there, his shoulders slump for a minute before the giant <laughs> owl just picks him up and lifts him out. Much, it happen. Much, much like a tray out of the swamp of sadness, just <laughs> from below. And not even with dignity, like not no. the shoulders, <laughs> taking him sideways. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong side of the of the flop hair, so it's all in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Love it so much. I give up. All righty. Um, you continue on for another hour or so, carefully making your way through. Make your way. Um, <laughs> the temperature. Begins to grow colder and colder still. Mm. Weird. 
Mm. To the point where you begin to be able to see your breath visibly in the air, which seems very uncharacteristic based on the location of this island. The shaded tangle. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 cold and gray. Um, you also begin to notice, particularly, could do, well, no, you, you're you in the middle of, <laughs> you don't notice anything. Uh, Beauregard and Caleb, uh, though in your owl form, what's your passive yeah, perception? It's, uh, I don't know what passive perception is, but the wisdom is just a plus one, so probably not. So. Okay, no, so it would be, it would be Beauregard. Okay. You also notice Ooh. the sound of any local Birds, bugs, gone. It is silent. It is still. Like, n noticeably, like one side was like, ooh, can hear some birds, and then kind of a quick Well, just kind of like as you're walking breath. and you notice your breath and the cold, some of you also like stop for a second and listen around, and this the first time you realize that there is no other noise in the area. The colors, the, the plant life around you has become steadily more and more muted and unsaturated as you continue. The greens have become grays. It's almost like everything went to a uh, part way to monochrome. Does it you guys, remind us of? You see me? Camouflage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, DM if it plays in later. I have keen hearing and sight advantage on perception checks. Okay, it matters later. Well, not at this moment necessarily, but Ooh. on that note, does it remind us of Jorhas? Does it look like Jorhas? No, it's. <clears throat> Too. It doesn't resemble the waste necessarily. The the temperature, the loss of color. It it feels supernatural as opposed to just a a barren location. If that makes sense. Fuck is this man? Weird. Yeah. Like someone put a black and white filter over Instagram it. Instagram filter. Yeah. Kind of, or at least the between the the black pools, the trees themselves, their bark turning more and more gray. The the plant life that does exist around here itself becoming a little less vibrant of color, becoming going more to like muted, very dark greens to almost black coloration at times. The landscape itself just seems to progressively become more and more of a monochromatic scheme. Does it, does it look like the same like plant life? The color of it has just changed, or does it look like a different type of plant? Mm, it looks similar, though a lot of it looks a lot less healthy, a little more withered, hanging. Even the moss itself seems a bit dried and cracked in places, which is strange for it being so moist in the vicinity. Um, still thick forest? Still, still thick forest, but just unhealthy. Unhealthy and, and off. Can we see through the canopy more? Uh, you glance up and you can see breaks in it above, but there are still a tangled mess of branches and vines and leaves up above. You can see, though, at this distance, it's hard to see what color they would be in comparison to what's down here below. Um, occasionally, you still peek through and see the blue sky above, but it's still pretty dense. I'm going to use my necklace. Oh, jeez. I am so glad I gave that to you. <laughs> All righty. And I'm going to um, just touch one of the trees and say, are you guys sad? I mean, what's happening? Is this guy like draining you of all your life force? What's happening here? Why do you look so drab? <laughs> <laughs> the tree responds with, there's something about this land that just is devoid of light and life. For a long time now, myself and those around me just feel drained and sallow. Do I get to keep talking to it? Sure. <laughs> How long has it been like this? <laughs> Decades. Oh. The plants have a better memory than the people. Yeah. Maybe. Is do you know what the source is? Do you know where it's coming from? Not since it's been like this. It's just like this. That sucks for you. It does. Oh. 
Can you help us get through this area and not step in any bad things? Is Jester talking to fucking trees now? I don't I can't tell if she's talking Maybe to we a can traveler or a tree. Okay. <laughs> maybe we can help you. How would you help me? I don't know, maybe we can get rid of the thing that's causing you to get drained of your life force. What? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I'm gonna try. Are you helping trees? Thank Jester? you. You're welcome. Everyone should. Can help you me. can you try to help us get through this area without stepping in water? Is... I don't know how. <laughs> oh, you can like lower your branches down. The branches lower a little bit. Thanks. Which conversation Just are we supposed to? Spread the word to around. To lower branches. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Are you talking to the the trees now? These poor guys. They just they feel so drab and sallow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Ooh. They also look I so mean, drab. No yeah. <laughs> Is it because there's uh, Oh, there's I didn't no... see you there. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaky. I forgot I blend in with the surroundings. <laughs> this is great camouflage for me. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> is it because there's just no sun coming down here? No, it's they said that it feels like something is like keeping them from being able to have life. Like it's oh. keeping them like feeling terrible. You know, just because Caduceus talks to plants and he gave you a gift doesn't mean you have to try and imitate him. Yeah, and also, they talk back. Yeah, not, not, not to be callous or anything, but do we really care? Come on, let's just go. Well, what if, you know, I mean, what if this, what if this guacamole mm -hmm. is like really bad and maybe by bringing the traveler here and like, you know, all of, his worshippers, maybe we can get rid of this guacamole. It, there's a fair chance for that, but we have to figure out what it is first. Sure. Let's go. Beauregard. I'm not uh. trying to be like Caduceus, I just, you know, it's cool that I can talk to plants now. While they're having this oh, conversation, yeah. and up on one of the higher boughs, you can see there's a, a regular owl and a much larger owl who's currently one claw clasped onto the base of the branch, the other one clutching a semi-limp caduceus who's just given in. Um, <laughs> but you also hear <laughs> another sound, kind of a little ways past the direction you're going and a little further south. Sounds like a, a silent sobbing. Yeah. Okay. Creepy. That is fucking creepy. I'm sure it's fine. Sure it's fine. Past the direction we're going. And a little bit to the south. Just like a. <laughs> hey. Caduceus, are you okay, man? Is that you? What? I'm. What? No, what? no, no, nope, nope. What is it, Bo? You hear that? It's like crying. Like an. But like old man. Sobbing, like sad old man sobbing. It, I mean, is it the trees? Are you here? Old is it the trees? Crying. Are the trees? There's nothing sadder than. Hang on, hang on. Just give, give me a moment. I'm gonna kind of move towards that direction. Okay. Oh. Self, you? Stealthily. Just, what are just you? Just I can, go, me? I can go pretty fast. Just hang on. Are there still pools around us? Okay. By the way. <laughs> so you're looking for pools. Okay, looking for pools. I know. Just right. a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. I'm not gonna go. All right. Make a perception check. <clears throat> Why is it always my No. Uh, 21. 21, okay. You kind of deftly leap from uh, bottom of tree trunk to tree branch to kind of swing off one branch and then catch yourself, and you come to this one patch uh, around the pools where you can see this uh, trunk about eight or nine feet off the ground that is itself heavily moss-covered and has large holes in the side, and you can hear kind of that hollow sobbing coming from that direction of that. And as soon as you kind of stand there and look at it, the sobbing stops. Mm. And you kind of see within like this, the darkness of this hollow in the tree, you see uh, something kind of reflected, like two, like two little points of reflection in there just for a second. Uh-uh, nope! Okay. It, it stops crying. Yeah. I take a few steps back. Anything? Not at the moment, no. I turn my back. Anything? Not at the moment. I look back real quick. Okay. Is it still there? Just the same? You just see the darkness in the hollow. <laughs> Reach your hand in. <laughs> just kidding, don't do that. Flash mm, 
I take a f I just keep my eyes towards the thing, take a few more steps back, take out a ball bearing. <laughs> <laughs> throw it at the crying thing. Throw it, throw it, throw it at <laughs> Whatever you do, don't give your other teammates a chance to help out. I'm, I'm waking my way no, back. We're, 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 I'm making my way back. Okay. Making yeah. my way back. Well, I kind of throw it and see what happens. Okay. I'm being cautiously curious. Okay, you throw the ball bearing. <laughs> you missed. Nothing. <laughs> Take a few more steps back. Just can I see the owls? You, you can see them a little bit. Yeah, you're not too far off. What are you doing? There's a, there's a, there's a thing, there's a thing. What thing? There's like a, I don't know, I can't see him. How far away are you? You went off and did your Miles Morales thing. I have no idea. Uh, no, no, it's just, it's not far, it's just ahead. It's just ahead. There's like, I, I can see eyes in the hollow of a tree, mm. and it's sad. And I don't know start crying, because maybe it, you know, want some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a good idea. Like That's a good idea. Uh, uh, God. I, I kind of walk yeah, towards it a little bit and I go. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my God, you're mocking it. He <laughs> walks towards it and starts sobbing in return. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh -huh. Like Yasha's advice. Uh -huh. How far are you from it? Like, like, are you trying to get to hear you? Just um, kind of where I was when I first saw its eyes. It's so like, it saw me. Like, 30, 40 well, feet? I don't know. Yeah, sure. I don't know. You didn't tell me. Right. Well, you didn't tell me how close you were going to get. So, how okay, far? 30 far. feet sounds great. All right. So, <laughs> you, you kind of get up to the edge there, avoiding the pools. And I remember, though. <laughs> and, you, and you start making like the, the sad sobbing sound a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you see another kind of glimmer of two She's alone feet in the shadow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Great, great, great. <laughs> it so was fucking ridiculous. So much to be sad about. <laughs> it's true, though. You look back at it after making the hollow, and look up, and there's nothing in the hollow. It's just dark again. No sobbing sound. I take out one of my like my pocket bacon. Mm -hmm. Take out some pocket bacon and I throw it towards the front of the hollow. 40 okay. feet to the hollow? Yeah, 30. 30, 30. feet. So, so I'm good at throwing. Good at throwing. <laughs> Look, if anybody gets her bacon accurately, it'd be her. Yeah. 30 feet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Extra crispy, motherfuckers! <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, it's like a year old bacon. Yeah, it's yeah. really old fucking bacon. <laughs> Just roll a d20, add your dex save. Oh, or your dex God. modifier. My dex mod? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't call anyone over to help. I, well, I, I learned the owls and you. <laughs> I, I'm keeping sort of in contact. Did we hear no, that? Not 20 enough. total. Okay, yeah, the bacon <laughs> comes to rest. In the hole? In the hole? <laughs> Are you throwing it into it? the hole or just on the ground in front like of it? In the front of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's just on the ground there. <laughs> and I keep looking at the hole. <laughs> yeah. Caduceus! Caleb! We're super far away from like 100 feet away from you. <laughs> yeah. like, how far away are we? You, uh, you, to go off the beaten path to follow the sound, you're probably about 80 feet away from everyone else. Although I do have the keen hearing, so uh, maybe. So roll a perception check with advantage Caleb! As, as, as a giant owl. Uh, 18. 18, you do hear uh, Beauregard calling towards you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, owl's hooting. I start flying towards the sound. Yeah, I think the, something's I, happening. Everybody. The owl of Viridian begins to follow as well as you guys kind of scoot down. Here. I guess we're going where the owls go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Owl. I just keep looking. I just I feel keep like looking. Communication at the hole. is seriously yep. lacking. Yes. It's up. It's just, what? Just, I keep looking. Talking to trees. We're doing okay. What's happening? What's happening over here? Hey, Bo! There's a thing. There's a. Shh, shh. You guys all kind of approach and cluster. Bo staring at this. This one. Hollow tree in the middle okay. of this. Can we read Bo's um, body language and fan out a bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody cry. Everybody cry. What do you mean cry? Why is Bryson like a cry? Everybody just follow my lead. <laughs> you all start like sobbing loudly no, in the direction. No. Most of you start I sobbing loudly in the middle of this shit. So. <laughs> I've cried enough today. <laughs> well, you're, as you're being held by the owl? Yeah. Why are we? Why I mean, I, because we're I empathizing. We're, yeah. Empathizing do, you, do you place Caduceus on the ground? I don't know what you're doing. Did you, did you, would you like that? I'll probably gonna 
Sure, and and I will <laughs> into my human. Form okay, so you, on the ground. you return back in human form. Eyes of yeah. the grave on this. Thing. Okay, as you as, as everyone is surrounding this <laughs> this central hollow and sob, most some of you sobbing openly towards it. No, uh, <laughs> it still just seems dark and shadowy in that hollow. Uh, Caduceus, you go ahead as you're you're kind of focusing on this and you concentrate on eyes of the grave. Nothing from the hollow, but kind of near bow. Oh shit! How near bow? Like right where Bo is. Uh, cool. Uh, turn undead. Okay. Oh. What do you What do you oh, mean what where Bo is? Well, what is it? What is it though? I don't know. I'm just hitting a spell because I something's near Bo that's that's okay. slightly. What's the DC? Uh, on turn undead. Mm-hmm. Um, can't believe I'm doing this. Let's see how this goes. I didn't know uh, you were gonna actually do it. Uh, I, it's a 19, so I think it might beat your DC. Um, yeah. Yeah, my it's my spell DC. It's it's uh, 17. 17. So yeah, so so you 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 send something there, and you immediately concentrate, and poof, this like very faint wave, this rippling wave of radiant energy, kind of comes off of Caduceus in a radius. And I turn. There's something behind you. Huh? I can still see it. No. Uh, well, as, as as you turn and look. Uh, Beauregard, right behind you, on the opposite end of where Caduceus is, you turn and look right into the face <gasps> of what you see is this hood-shrouded humanoid body, long arms beneath this kind of brown, tattered robe. Where the eyes are, you see these black, gem-like shines in these sunken sockets. The skin itself is this kind of dark, Gray, rubbery texture. There's no nose. Does it look like the same sheen of eyes that I saw? Yes. Okay. But okay. but where but its mouth is this large, open, dragging, gaping black Ooh. void maw, just going. Okay. <gasps> is there a piece of bacon stuck in it? <laughs> <laughs> there is not. But we're gonna come back. No! I want to fight the bacon monster witch. I, I know, but it's it's already been you know three hours. It'll uh, go a little late if we do it that way. We really uh. should not have fucked around quite as much. Yeah. No, it was fucking <laughs> around what you guys do best. Are you kidding it. me? Yeah. I talk to the tree. <laughs> they never listen to me. Oh. oh my god, what the fuck oh is this my creepy god. thing? Oh no, I thought maybe if it was like a sad ghost, you know, like a moaning myrtle situation, yeah. maybe we could. Uh, I feel like to. it was dread. No. Wait, you wait, know? wasn't there some other creepy creature that was crying before that we, uh, in the wastes? There was oh, a, yeah, well, the, the, um, the like, hollow. Yeah. yeah, it was, it was a moaning hollows. thing. Is that was also that creepy. Is that? That hmm? was very creepy. That was, I've already like burned that? to turn undead on this thing. Uh, Where the big off. tree was, yeah? This. This looks humanoid, but its but its limbs are very long and stretched. Uh, it, like I said, it has that hood, and the mouth is like very this yeah. l- elongated, uh-huh. dragging jaw. Nope. No, no. Oh, also, eyes is sixty feet. So if there's anything even on the periphery of that, the it's a sixty foot feels? circle. So yeah, that's I, right now. That that's what? Yeah, yeah, that's where it was. But we'll pick up on that. Ooh. So excited! This is what I'm Next good at. Week. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Did you say its mouth was like a black void? Yeah, it was just like this, like open. And it had no, no nose. nose. Yeah. So the bacon probably went. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show. I'll show you a picture next time. Um, but anyway, uh, we'll we'll see where this goes next episode. In the interim, we love you very much. And is it Thursday yet? Yeah. Yeah.